San Antonio's Sports Center. NFL teams have kicked off voluntary workouts today. Cowboys wide receiver C.D. Lamb is a no-show. He continues to negotiate a new contract. San Antonio Brahmas almost had their second straight comeback, but they fall short to St. Louis. Their record now 2-1. and one. And the season is over for the San Antonio Spurs. They ended on a high beating the Nuggets and Pistons. Finished with a two-game win streak. NBA playoffs now set to begin. Sports Center is brought to you by Byers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. BuyersBarricades.com. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to Big Day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minix. Something in the air in this studio. <laughs> I mean, yeah. We've been in here about 10 minutes, and it just kind of hits Woo! you. Vacuum the walls in here. Yeah, something. Man. Uh, that's yeah. all right. We'll, uh, we'll, how's your Monday going? We'll get it out. You know, yes. Monday's not bad. It's not bad. It was a good weekend. Enjoyed the weekend. Uh, I always go by so fast, but uh, here we are. Here we are. Uh, it, 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 in the start of a great week. Oh, no doubt. The, the start of a great week. We are, are – well, closer to the weekend now, but I digress. It's fiesta time. It is. It right? is fiesta yes. time. Thursday, we will be live at a taste of the north side. Now, when does fiesta begin? Is it like now? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know, no, when, I don't it, know. when it begins. It, it, this week. Okay. Well, happy fiesta. Everybody. And then there's events next week. There, there, there are already, I saw some, I don't know, pre fiesta parties. Like there's official fiesta events and then there's unofficial yeah. fiesta events that aren't official. I don't know. I figure if you've got a Fiesta medal and a poster, you're in. Hey, just go have a good time. Well, that's it. You know, I mean, responsibly, but have a good time. Absolutely. There's that little thing called Uber. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do that. Yeah, definitely want to do that. You know, it, it's interesting when you think about this time of year. Uh, the draft is, you know, a week and a half away. The spur season is officially over. Let the off season begin. And and we'll talk a lot of Spurs coming up, but man, this weekend for the Spurs was an incredible weekend with a couple of nice wins. Micah Parsons in the building, Wemby doing things, knocking Denver out of the one seed. I mean, so there's that. But the team over the last couple of weeks have been so much fun to watch. Now you're like, well, damn, now it's over. No, I'm getting, but I'm glad it's over. Yeah, that's good because it was just the prolonging the agony. Mm -hmm. and it's nice that they won. They won four of their last six games. That's good. But now let's get on with it. Let's go. Let's see what's going to happen. And uh, uh, I'm expecting some big things. Yeah, absolutely. Masters this weekend was um, historic in a lot of ways. Sure. I mean, Scotty Scheffler, is he the best golfer on the planet now? Like, like remember when, when Jordan Spieth, like, he'll be the next Tiger? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is that now Scotty Scheffler? Absolutely. Guy's playing out of his mind right now. I mean, he, he really is. The guy's on another planet. Um, I don't know about the next Tiger Woods, but I mean, he right now he's the best golfer in the world by far. When you when you think about Tiger, and he was well, he didn't have a weekend that oh was uh, memorable, although it was very memorable, but not for what you normally get from Tiger. Yesterday morning, before I went to the Brahmas game, I'm watching the featured group on ESPN Plus of Tiger, and even though he was not having a good day. I can't help but watch Tiger. Sure. Right? Everybody the, likes Tiger. I, I mean, but but even when he's not playing great golf, um, it, you know, not that I could ever go on that course and shoot an 82, but when I see Tiger making mistakes that most of us would make, he, he seems human. And Tiger in a round of golf yesterday did the most human thing that I think we've ever seen from Tiger during a round of golf. And that was going over to shake hands with Vern Lundquist. And if you see the photos, it looks like he was shaking hands. It's with the tree, with tree, which created a lot of great memes. And but but I mean, just the respect, but uh, that he has for Vern and and being the 40th and final masters for Vern Lundquist, it was just a great moment. That was the highlight of the weekend for Tiger. Well, it was, and and I'm glad he did that. And it was good. Jim Nance had a nice tribute to uh, to uh, Vern Lundquist, that was nice to put it, made Vern cry actually. Sure, so so that was a good thing, but 
I'm just the opposite, Jason. I don't want to watch Tiger play like you and me. I don't want sure. to see that. Tiger Woods is is arguably, well, he's he's the second best golfer in the world as far as I'm concerned to yeah. ever play the game. And and he has meant so much to the game. I don't want to see Tiger shoot 82. I don't want to see Tiger shoot 77. I want to see Tiger be in contention and be Tiger Woods. And I'm just afraid all of that has gone away. And it may be time to say, hey, Tiger, you're great for the game. Please stay involved. But you just can't compete with these young fellas anymore. I mean, the low amateur. Could you imagine that, kid? Oh, man. Here you are. You're playing around with Tiger. With Tiger Woods. Well, and his caddy. Yeah. I, I mean, I, th- I thought his caddy was going to poop himself. Like, <laughs> I'm playing with probably Tiger. probably did. And, and, and then at the end, when Tiger took off his hat and shook his hand, I uh-huh. mean, you know, that for that kid, um, it's the moment of your life right there, even though you're playing with Tiger because Tiger is not Tiger the way we know him. Well, um, and you go back and tell all your buddies, hey, I beat Tiger on Sunday you at did. the Masters. Because he did. He did. Not only beat him, kicked his ass. Yeah, so I, I, I don't want to see that. I honestly don't want to see that. And, and to, for me, I want to remember Tiger Woods as the unbeatable Tiger Woods that that we're used to seeing. And and him shooting 82 is just, I mean, that's just like, dude, can't, I, I can't watch that. It's it, it's tough. Yeah. It, it was tough to watch, but I couldn't take my eyes off it. Right? I And, and I know that feels weird. Tiger said, you know, essentially it was a good weekend for him. And I guess just because he made all four days, there was something for him to prove that he could still play four rounds of competitive golf. Even if it wasn't great golf guy finished dead last for those that made the cut dead last. It, look, he, he did what he wanted to do. He made the cut for the 24th consecutive time. And I, I just think his body is not such that he can do that anymore. And maybe he should go join the live tour with those little pansies over there. Only play 54 holes. Little pansies. And so, and, and by the way, uh, it was a horrible showing for those livers uh-huh. at, the, at the masters because they don't go, give a damn. Go They're ahead and paid. Go ahead and gloat, Joe. They're getting paid. Uh-huh. They don't give a damn. They don't work on their game. They don't give a damn how they play. They play 54 holes in shorts and here we go. Flip flops. And you know, it's flip flops now. Huh? It's a, I so, yeah. I mean, you can, they can wear shorts while playing golf. I don't know. Well, That's the one rule from the live tour that I would like to be applied to the PGA. Well, I don't. I you, like you like the way you is. like them seeing in, in, in pants. Yes. Uh, who was it? Jason Day wearing parachute pants the other day. It was so windy. Everybody thought he was going to blow away in those things. And then he had some kind of goofy sweater on on Saturday. I don't know what it was, but, hey, you know, props to him. It's good. It was but very fashionable. It was not a good uh, tournament for the live types. Uh-huh. Not at all. DeChambeau finally remembered who he was. Wow. Uh, y- you can't blast your way around that golf course. You can't just be a big banger. you got to you got to have some thoughts, and that's where – DeChambeau has his troubles. It was in that respect, it was a great weekend. I laughed at all those live types. Go count your money, and you, you're not relevant anymore. It's true, they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not relevant. Even John Rahm struggled. They they're not relevant. They're not. Just go away. But the rich, they're rich. They're, they're rich. Good for them. They got a lot of money. Yeah. And hearing Rory explain winning tournaments that have meaning. Uh huh. When he looks at the trophies in the case and who else have won them, the tradition that goes with it, you still have those types of golfers that are on the PGA Tour. Um, but at some point, there has to be some sort of merger or something between the two. And we know that will come. But I know for for traditionalists like Joe Reinagle, watching all those live types struggle. All of them. All of them. Although I was just watching a couple of guys making sure I won the beer bet. Which I did. You did? I did. You sure? Uh huh. I don't remember who all I had on my deal, <laughs> but but Shaw Flay w- was the uh, top guy of the ones that we chose. I guess he was. McElroy just can't win the Masters for whatever reason. No. And our um, tiebreaker was Tiger making the cut. Tiger made the he cut. He did that. Yeah. But didn't do anything after he made the cut. It wasn't about any of his score. It was about does he make the uh-huh. cut? And he did. And he and, did. And, and that, he finished. He, he played all, and that's, and, all and four rounds. I'm really surprised that he finished Saturday. I'll be honest with you. 82, he was struggling out there. And, and he's got to hurt. Every part of his body has to hurt with everything that man has been through. And, and again, I said it before. I'll say it again. It's a miracle that he can play golf the way he still plays it. It's just not good enough anymore to compete with 
20 somethings that are at the top of their game. And I don't want to see him shoot 82. So is so what you're saying is the golf world would be better with Tiger not in the tournament at all than playing the way he did. I think Tiger and and maybe that's what we're seeing, a handful of stuff, but um he's a great ambassador for the game and I hope he never gets uninvolved in that. And then there's a senior uh, tour that, you know, he'll be eligible for in about a year. And maybe you go over there and do something where you can ride golf carts. You can do stuff that doesn't take the toll on your body uh, that obviously Tiger suffered with on Saturday and Sunday. Did you see the uh, part where his son, Charlie was helping him with the swing? Is that right? Uh, yeah. It was on the, on the driving range and he was getting pointers from Charlie. And I thought, well, that's, you know, one of the memes I saw, look, dad, this is how you do yeah. it. Yeah. Um, well, we get to look forward to that. Well, that's it. Charlie he, Woods. He's going to, he's going to yeah. be the ultimate golf dad before long. He will be exactly, exactly. So I, I just, it was really sad for me to see Tiger Woods play the way he did on Saturday, but I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Well, I, 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 I honestly, I, I don't want to see that. I, I couldn't, I, I, I mean, I didn't do any tailgating at the Brahma's game. My wife's like, what time are we going? So I said, we're going to leave around, you know, 1130 or noon. And, but Tiger was still playing and it wasn't until he finished all 18 that we got in the car and left, which was roughly 1245 ish. And cause I wanted to see the entire round. Well, everybody likes a train wreck. I, the, I guess there's that. <laughs> Although I kept waiting for Tiger to pull a Minix or pull a Ryan egg. He hit that one incredible shot that keeps it coming back. I kept waiting for that moment to happen that like, this is going to be the moment that you go, okay, Tiger. This round, this this tournament, you're not ready, but you got the PGA coming up. You already said you're committed to that. Can you do that there? Well, and, and it Minix never happened. Have never hit a shot anywhere near Tiger Woods. So there's that. But I I know what you're talking about. He has I mean, that one uh, shot uh, for us for I mean, Tiger. I mean, I mean, look, his 82 is my 182, and I and I'm fully aware of that. I would love to shoot 82 at Augusta National, obviously, but I'm not nine. Tiger Woods. Yes. And He's neither Tiger is Tiger he. Woods. He's not. He's, He's not, not, not anymore. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. The NBA season, regular season, officially in the books. We'll look at what's ahead this week for the NBA and the Spurs as we continue here on the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is Fiesta time. And as we've told you, uh, Uber, Lyft are wonderful things, but we know not everybody will do that. Nobody goes to a Fiesta event planning to get arrested, but we also know San Antonio, and we know what's going to happen. If you get arrested, you want to get out of jail fast, you know the best way to do that is to call my good friend Albert and his great staff at AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121. Text the word BAIL to 474747, or you can start the bonding process online at mybestbailbonds.com. You don't have to call attorneys or anybody else to get out of jail, and you don't want to be forced into a PR bond. If the jail offers you a PR bond, make sure you truly understand what those conditions are before accepting it. Your best option for stress-free bail bonds is AA Best Bail Bonds because nobody beats their price. They offer payment plans, a free shuttle service. They are discreet and confidential and open 24-7 with offices all over San Antonio and Texas. Services nationwide. So if you're up in Dallas, down in Corpus, anywhere in between, license number 149, call AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121, or go online at mybestbailbonds.com. It's the 2024 NFL Draft on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. We're the 24th pick, the Dallas Cowboys select. April 25th. 26th and 27th. Join 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star for this year's NFL Draft live from Detroit. I love the tenacity and the aggression with which he plays. He is a mauler. Who do the Cowboys and Texans pick? Does Jerry make a splash? Who goes number one? And who's the next Mr. Irrelevant? The Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud. I don't ever want to pass on the guy you ought to be taking there, but still be position left. I thought Sauce Gardner would be the first corner, but you go back to 2019, and that version of Derek Stingley is as good as anybody in this entire draft class. Find out right here on your exclusive home for the NFL Draft. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star.
calling all children ages 8 to 16. H-E-B and the Dallas Cowboys are bringing a youth football clinic to you on May 4th from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. at East Central High School in San Antonio. You can do skills and drills just like the pros. Register for your chance to participate at dallascowboys.com slash H-E-B. Camp is limited to 150 athletes per session, so sign up today. Purchase not required to register. Parents must be 18 years of age or older and a Texas resident. The promotion ends April 25th. For official rules and important details, visit dallascowboys.com slash H-E-B. Sherry, what have you done to your hair? What do you mean? Does it not look good? It doesn't look good. It looks freaking amazing. I can't believe how thick and healthy it looks. Oh, I must know your secret. No secret. It's hair volume from New Nordic. Hair volume, huh? Well, it certainly lives up to its name. Your hair has never looked so thick. It is gorgeous. I was so tired of having thin and brittle hair Ugh, and the shedding. So I figured I'd give hair volume a try. Needless to say, I'm thrilled with the results. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to pick up some hair volume right now. My reunion's next month and I want my hair to look as good as yours. Hair volume is the best selling hair tablet in the world and one of many award winning natural health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at NewNordicUSA.com or your local Walgreens, Rite Aid or CVS. Available as a tablet or delicious gummy. Help your hair look full, voluminous, and beautiful again at new N-O-R-D-I-C-U-S-A.com, Walgreens, Rite Aid, or CVS. Gas, groceries, utilities, you name it. The price of everything is going up. And if you're stuck in a bad timeshare with rising maintenance fees, the financial burden can be crushing. It is time to get your finances in order and get the real facts about that timeshare that you are stuck in and your options to get rid of it. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has been helping families out of horrible timeshares for over 10 years and has put together a complete timeshare exit information kit that he will send you absolutely free. To date, over 30,000 families have trusted Wesley Financial Group to help them out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares. Get the facts about how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Simply call Wesley now for your free timeshare exit kit and see how you can become timeshare free. Call 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. Once again, 800-462-3333. Feel that heat? That's how it should feel when you're outdoors watching your favorite team coming up to bat, not in your home. Call Maverick Windows at 800 972 36 that's 800-972-3631 and get a free quote for new energy efficient windows train heating and cooling systems are tested retested engineered and re-engineered to keep up with you we run together visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer traininfo.com it's hard to stop a train hormones can affect everything bad skin bad hair low energy poor sleep brain fogginess, libido, and weight gain. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health, and we take a functional approach to your hormone problems. Eating right and exercise will not be beneficial without optimal hormone function. This goes for men and women. We do state-of-the-art testing to get to the root of your hormone issues and help you get well and stay well. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health. We can help. 210-468-1891. Are you looking for a job where you can have a ton of fun and make great money? Then Twin Peaks is the team you need. They're looking for Twin Peaks girls, cooks, busters, barbacks, and more. Text work for TP to 85000 to apply. That's 85000 to apply. Twin Peaks! Check out the Jim Rome Show, weekdays and noon. If you're San Antonio, there are benefits that come along with it. I will cut you the front of the line. We're going to hype the return. On 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz, 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Ryan Eagle on Jason Minnick on a Monday afternoon. The Happy NBA Monday. season officially in the books. The regular season. Yeah. The playoffs begin without the San Antonio Spurs. Well, we're getting used to that, aren't we? It's been too damn long. It's been a long time. It's been too damn long. Yeah, in fact, it, it, what I like is uh, about this playing tournament, it gets started right away, tomorrow mm-hmm. night. Well, and, and it's interesting because it, so tomorrow you've got the Lakers at New Orleans and then the Warriors at, at Sacramento. Yep. And listening to, I guess it was Greeny earlier today and whatever NBA type he had on for the Lakers, do they intentionally lose to New Orleans 
so that they can then play in the other play and to avoid having this face Denver that they haven't beaten in a couple of years. They're like 08, 0 and 9. Uh, they've lost eight or nine straight against the Denver Nuggets. So let's not try to be the eight seed because or the seventh seed because, you know, we don't want to be fed to the Wolves. Their strategy and like, let's lose a game so we can beat the other guys. Well, you're assuming that you can beat the other guys. Well, I mean, you know, oh, yeah, we're the big bad Lakers, you know. Hey, we can beat anybody we want. So we'll lose to this team and then beat whoever else we want. That's ridiculous. You can't do that. Who, who, what NBA type? I told you it was, well, I mean, legit conversation because their strategy. If you think you could beat the winner of the Warriors King series, and is it better to be the eight seed in this case if you were the Lakers as opposed to the seventh seed? Uh, Because, you know, with the Spurs beating Denver the other night, Oklahoma City finishes number one. They they are. And, look, I don't think the Lakers can do that. Plus, you've got uh, Eyebrow, who is who got hurt yesterday. Anthony Davis. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. got hurt. So, I mean, I don't know what kind of shape he's going to be in. I'm sure he'll be fine. But I, you can't assume that you uh, will lose this game and then uh, the hell with the Kings or, or the Warriors. We, we're going to kick their butts no matter what. You can't assume that. you got to win when you got a chance to win. And, if that's the Lakers, I hope it is. And I hope they get an early exit. Well, and, and again, do you really think the Lakers are looking at it that way? Or is that just a pundit looking for a talking that, point? Yes. Um, you win to guarantee yourself going in. It, it's so, I don't want to say bizarre, but I, I found it bizarre yesterday looking at Twitter and the NBA dropping all these brackets. It's not the NCAA tournament, right? <laughs> um but it is, it, you know, I was like, all right. I, I mean, you go with it. But you look at that that Spurs win over the Nuggets. And what a fun game that was. I was at the Rue Pub on Friday night. And the game was on. There was the Astros-Rangers game was on. There was uh, other things on. So it's not like like back in the day when the Spurs would have been on all three of those massive televisions. Yeah, yeah, it was on sure. one. And as that game went down in the fourth quarter, Everybody's just watching that game and the excitement level in the Rue Pub when the Spurs held on and won that game. You know, when you had that floater that put them up and then the five second rule, you would have thought we were watching an elimination game in the postseason. It, it and I haven't experienced that with the Spurs in a long time. It's been a long time. It was, but it was fun. And now it's over. And and thank God that it's over. I'll be honest with you. I bought into the uh, well. They suck. They're going to lose this game. When it was a 23-point well, yeah. deficit, I was like, well, okay, I got other things to do. And then I look up, I see on social media they won. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So, Well, I, I think that was, you know, for for me and, you know, Bledge was there. Um, it's not like we were paying attention to the Spurs until you realize, well, they got a chance to win this Yeah, thing. yeah. You know, 23 got down to 15, got down to 10, got down to what, 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 you know. And so it's not like we were watching the entire fourth quarter, but it – it did get me ready for the NBA playoffs because I, I, and I think as a, as a fan, I needed that because this NBA season has been awful because I'm, I'm a Spurs fan. The last two. Well, the last five. Yeah. I, I mean, let, let, let's be honest, but you know, I get into the postseason. you know, we'll have to pick our teams here by the end of the week. You know, we'll get through this play and stuff and, you know, we'll pick our teams. Although, I went Phoenix very early on. I'll probably stay with Phoenix, but Denver looks unbeatable. Uh, when you look at the teams in the West, can Denver go back? And Or could Golden State out of the play-in? Could the <laughs> Lakers out of the play-in legitimately make uh-huh, a run? Uh-huh. I love playoff basketball. Oh, playoff basketball is the best. The, the, uh, but I needed a game like that from the Spurs to like get me into that playoff mode and i'm glad the spurs gave me that one regular season game that doesn't mean a damn thing but it did because at least they knocked the nuggets out of the top spot that maybe the nuggets wanted to be you know it's like i will lose to the spurs and we'll win the rest i mean i guess that's how we're doing it these days i guess sure Uh uh-huh why not why not we'd rather be in the two seed instead oh all of that's ridiculous good win by the spurs i thought it was great you know it's one of those things too that denver probably felt a lot like me we got a 23-point lead. Now this game's over. We'll get ready for the next one and, and get ready for the playoffs. And, and a lot of times that happens, and it bites you right in the butt like it did for them. Um, 
so uh, look, Denver's still going to be very difficult to beat. I like Oklahoma City. I told somebody that that because I want the Spurs to do that. I, that's what I want. Everybody talks about Oklahoma City. Their big rookie, their big draft pick is only a rookie technically. Uh, he, he played one season, and so they went out. They they made a big draft, got a good player, and now they're ready to roll. And they're the number one seed in the West. And it didn't take all that long, although they kind of collected some draft picks. But you know what I'm talking about. I want to do. I want to see that this off season. I don't know what steps everybody wants to take, but I want to see that happening this off season. And let's be a, a competitive ball club next year. Well, it, and again, the the other part of it too, especially like you look in the East. You know, there's something about playoff, uh, the playoffs in Jimmy Butler. Will Miami do something? And you got Philly always, you know, but they're in the play in. Atlanta, Chicago, yeah, whoever, somebody's <laughs> getting fed to the wolves out of, out of that, right? But can Boston get it done? Uh, what's up with the Bucks? You know, Doc yeah, Rivers. Geez. I mean, Doc uh, Rivers. I, I mean, just everything going on with with Milwaukee. Well, that went right as planned. Didn't it? <laughs> it Doc did. Rivers going over there and losing. Well, and 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 Giannis is he even going to be ready to go for uh, for the playoff series against the Indiana Pacers? It's going to be Boston should win that thing, but the fact that they should win it means that they might not. They always seem to to stumble when it comes to. I mean, they probably had the best team in the East over the last what two or three years, and and just kind of stumble. So the West looks tough to me. I really, I don't, I, I don't know what to make of Minnesota. I'll be honest with you. I know they've got some great players and Anthony Edwards, Anthony Edwards is, is something else. Uh, so they, they could be a factor. I don't know. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm glad it all gets kicked off tomorrow night. When you, when, when you look at it and you look at the variety of series, especially with some of the top seeds, right? So Let's see what you're going to have. The Suns and Timberwolves, um, Mavericks, Clippers could be fun. Pacers, Bucks. It, to me, it depends on Giannis. Although that bizarre tweet from Sham Sharania. Did you see that earlier today? I, I don't know what to make of the uh, Sham's tweet. Uh, Giannis is rehabbing daily, but there's some real doubt for his status to begin series for his Pacers on Sunday. Although Giannis has rare recovery ability. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Rare, Rare recovery. recovery ability? It's voodoo. Uh-huh. It's all voodoo. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I think they can survive a game or two without Giannis because they play pretty well when he's not on the floor. Obviously, he's the guy, and I'm not discounting that, saying they can win it without him, but they, they might be able to get a split um, in, in those first two games and then give Giannis a little extra time to get ready. It, it is. I mean, we had Denver last year. Is one of those teams that hasn't been there. Get it done. And it was fun watching a team win a title for the first time. When you look at the fact that Golden State and the Lakers are in a play-in, just seems kind of odd, doesn't it? Um, it does. But it wouldn't surprise me if they end up in the second round or even the conference finals just because of who they are and they, they know how to play in big games like that. Although I don't see either one of them actually doing it, it wouldn't surprise me because of who is on their roster. Um, and their tradition. Maybe I'm buying into that. I like some of these fresh faces, these these new teams that you're not used to used to seeing. Well, you know, and, and that buys. I, I heard somebody talking today on on some program that we're seeing a changing of the guard. Yeah, right. Because you had LeBron James, you got Steph Curry, Draymond Green. You got you know some of these guys that are going the other way, while the young fresh faces, especially some of the European stars, are, are starting to become the face of the NBA. And if, if you couldn't pick Nikola Jokic as your MVP, who would it be? I think Nikola wins it. I, I don't think there's any question. But if you had to pick a second-place guy, who would that be? Bronson with the Knicks? Yeah, I mean, he's he's good. I, I'm going I, with, with Gilgis Alexander, man, I, for I mean, Oklahoma City. With SGA. I, I, I just – there's something about what Bronson has done with the Knicks and seeing where the Knicks are, and he's in New York. You know, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, there, there's it's a tough there. question, isn't well, it? Yeah. And is there, is there fatigue on, on, on the Joker? You want somebody else yeah. to win it? You yeah. know, will you get votes there? And it was very interesting to see those media types that have already put their ballots out, and some that have Wemby winning Defensive Player of the Year are voted somewhere on there, but I've seen some where they have listed him number one and others where he's not on the ballot at all. <laughs> right. 
I mean, you have no idea where these voters are going to go. Uh, you don't. I, but I think Joker wins MVP. I don't think there's any question. Yeah. He wins it. And uh, But it's going to be interesting to see how the other four drop because everybody has five picks, mm -hmm. right, that they yep. pick. So where do the others go? I like SGA, man. I really love watching that guy play. Yeah, and and I, I just look at the Knicks. And could the Knicks make a run? Could the Knicks actually Maybe. finally – Get over that hump. And, I doubt it, and, but maybe it because it's New York. <laughs> it's New York. It's it's New York. They they got a history of uh, messing up nice things. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's the Knicks. It's the Knicks. Yeah. It's the Knicks. The um, Spurs. Well, we get to start the off season. Are you crying? Are you crying, Minix? No. No crying in basketball. It's just the fact that it's the playoffs again. <laughs> And it's a tradition that I'm not a fan of. And that's uh -huh. the playoffs beginning without the Spurs. I know it. I the know The fact it. that they had locker clean out day today. Wow. Is, um, well, disgusting. It is. <laughs> Again. Frustrating. Wow. You know, but Pop, he's going to be back. He uh. needs about a week and a half. He'll be ready to go yeah, for next yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But what do they do uh, this off season? We'll talk about that coming up on the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Guys, you know your testosterone levels start to decline in your 30s. So if you're feeling a lack of energy, motivation, maybe low libido, those could all be symptoms caused by low T levels. At Synergenics, their medical providers exclusively specialize in customized testosterone treatment, and they make it quick and easy to get your levels checked. Go to Synergenics, and you're going to get your levels back, your results back at your first visit because they have their on-site lab. Book that appointment now at FixMyLowT.com. FixMyLowT.com. Get your levels tested. So if you're dealing with that lack of energy, I know a lot of people are watching the Masters over the weekend. You're watching golf saying, man, I can't play 18 like that four days in a row. I don't have the energy. Well, maybe testosterone levels have something to do with that. Get that energy back. Get the life back that you used to have. At Synergenics, you will get customized care from testosterone specialists. The big thing, though, is to get tested. Take that first step. Book your appointment now. FixMyLowT.com. That's FixMyLowT.com. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Thursday on the Morning Huddle, I got Caitlin Fever. The WNBA draft came and went with a fever carry on, and the play-in begins. It's not playoffs. We're playing in, and we're getting ready. Plus, the NFL draft starts next Thursday. What will the Dallas Cowboys do? Because it's the draft, which means they actually have to do something. We have the answers. The Morning Huddle starts at 6. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Morning 6 to 10 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. If you love to travel, Capital One has a rewards credit card that's perfect for you. With Venture X, earn unlimited double miles on everything you buy and turn everyday purchases into extraordinary trips. Plus, receive premium travel benefits like access to over 1,300 airport lounges where you just check in and chill out. Open up a world of possibilities with Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. Lounge access is subject to change. See CapitalOne.com for details. The smarter way to clean your floors. It's time to make the swap. Swiffer Power Mop. Introducing the new Swiffer Power Mop. The all-in-one tool that gives you a mop and bucket clean in half the time. The solution's built right in. So no heavy bucket. And the pad has hundreds of scrubbing strips to get deep into grout. Don't mop harder. Mop smarter. Swift for power mop. Swift for power mop. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 
or visit Prevnar20.com. Injuries happen, and when they do, skip the ER and get to the OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. OrthoNow provides walk-in care for injuries like broken bones, dislocations, sprains, and strains. Conveniently located in the Cory area with extended hours Monday through Saturday with on-site x-ray casting and bracing, OrthoNow has everything you need to treat your injury, and best of all, no urgent care or emergency room copay. Learn more online at TSA AOG.com. Pork rinds pack a protein punch and are the boldest low carb snacks out there. Skip the chip and try Southern Recipe small batch pork rinds for that ultimate crunch. And with flavors that will have you craving for more, the time to stock up on Southern Recipe at HEB is now. Southern Recipe small batch pork rinds. Be big, be bold, be adventurous. Folks, quality is a huge deal. It's what I look for when I recommend something to my listeners. It means you can depend on it. Quality means it won't let you down. It's something you can be proud of. Well, that's the definition of a Kinetico water softener. With other water softener brands, you just never know. Maybe they work half the time or they're just plain junk. A Kinetico water softener is up to 80% more efficient than competing models and will be the last water softener you'll ever own. That's because you're buying quality and it's backed up with an outstanding 10-year warranty too. If you're ready to enjoy all the benefits that come with quality, bring home a Kinetico water softener. Call the team at Kinetico at 656-PURE or online at KineticoSA.com. That's 656-P-U-R-E or KineticoSA.com. And tell them, Dave. Ramsey sent you. The last water softener you'll ever own. Call 656 Pure Kinetico. Your home for the Dallas Cowboys is 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minnix. Thursday, the Blitz will be live at Taste of the North Side. Woo! You don't have your tickets yet? You can always buy them. Tasteofthenorthside.org, promo code STAR. You'll save 25 bucks a ticket. I'm looking forward to that, man. My favorite Fiesta event. Unbelievable. It is good, good, good. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, we were in here making... Uh, Crunching sounds with the pork rinds. Well, that's it. I, I mean, see, you guys, you know. Sound effects. Yeah, sound effects uh, and how we create those. Uh-huh. So we're, we're, you know, we're recording a new uh, pork rind commercial for Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. So Joe and I were eating pork rinds into the microphone during the commercial break so we could record some good crunch sound effects. Got it. Well, we're just doing what we can. I mean, you know, we do... We're company guys. Work, 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 That's work, work. That's it. I'm telling you. Who gets who gets the best crunch? <laughs> uh, that was fun. Yeah. That it, was well, fun. Well, more importantly, it was good. It was delicious. I needed the snack. Dude, I love these sea salt and cracked black pepper. Well, then they, they sent. They are awesome. They sent a bunch of new pork rinds for us. Yeah. W- which are fantastic, including those new ones over there, um, the hot honey. Which those are fantastic. And the new barbecue one. Yeah. The new barbecue one I haven't tried, but I figured for the crunch, I better go with these ones. And that was the bag that was here in studio. Exactly. Yeah. And it's my favorite. Your favorite. (laughs) It's my favorite. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yes. We've been working hard. See, during the commercial breaks, it's not just a break. That's right. Work hard. Eat some pork rinds. (laughs) Sound all, effects. Of all crunch. for a good cause. Yes. That's what we do here. Yeah. Yes. We're professionals. Absolutely. <laughs> the uh, Spurs season is over. Yeah. And man, they were fun to watch down the stretch. And and I think that gives us hope going into the offseason beyond just, we know we've got Wemby, so we know there is a future here. But it does make it hard to figure out who will be a part of the future with Wemby. Because... A lot of guys played extremely well down the stretch that I don't anticipate coming back. I wouldn't be surprised if half this roster isn't here or 75% of this roster isn't here at the beginning of next year. 
but they were fun to watch down the stretch. Normally, when you got a team as bad as the San Antonio Spurs record wise, down the stretch, when you know the players don't give a damn anymore, is brutal. The Spurs stayed with it. Those players played every game, which you appreciate as a fan of the team. Well, you saw that yesterday with the Detroit Pistons. <laughs> they would have rather been, uh, I don't know, swimming with alligators <laughs> than be playing a, in, in San Antonio and for the final that. final game of the regular season. I don't know about I mean, they didn't give a, They didn't give a damn about playing basketball yesterday, and it showed. I mean, that, that was – I didn't watch much of it, I'll be honest with you, but, I mean, my gosh, we like watching a G League game. It was terrible. Well, it, again, you think about the not way – the, the G League's yeah. terrible. Well, but, but, but again, though, at the NBA level, you want to yeah. see NBA, not right. G League level. And while while I think as fans, we certainly appreciate the effort you got from the guys that were on the floor, even if some of you had to pull up a roster to figure out hey, who the hell is that yes, guy. Yes, uh, That's one thing that Pop was excited about yesterday pregame – about just the, the the team's character throughout a tough, long losing season. I have to give them unbelievable credit for their character. Uh, you know, there's no letdowns or uh, backbiting or blame or poor me or anything like that. Uh, you know, they were dealt with some tough circumstances. One, a couple they couldn't handle or have any control over being young and never having played together, but uh, it was it was difficult for him, spotty injuries and that kind of thing. But uh, every practice, every shoot around, uh, every game, no matter what happened, uh, they were ready for the next day, and that really is a, a testament to their character. I really uh, am impressed by that and grateful for it because it could have been a really ugly time, you know, losing, being on buses and planes and all that, but, you know, we ate together, we spent time together, and uh, they were special. They were special. You know, I wasn't sure exactly where Pop was going right there. It could have been an ugly time. It was an ugly time, Pop. I, I yeah. mean, for the fans, it was ugly. But I, I see what he's talking about, that, you know, the team didn't just unravel. No. And it, that's a good thing. And, again, it, you know, a season like this and and – by nature with what we do, everybody wants to put a grade on it. And, of course. and where would you, where would you grade pop? How would you grade pop? In the wow. beginning of this season, he gets an F. Yeah. The, the Jeremy Sohan experiment was a complete failure. Yes. Yet pop said that this season was satisfying. It was, it was, you know, it would be less than uh, genuine if I said it was not a challenging year. Uh, losing is challenging. Uh, but it was one of the most satisfying years I've spent here just because of the caliber of the character of the guys I was allowed to coach. So uh, that, that got all of us through. Uh, and you've seen us down 10, 15, 20 points, and the guys keep playing in those games. They may come back and win them. They may come back and get close, but uh, we never doubted their effort. And I thought that they put on a great show you know, for the fans for the whole year who are also very, very supportive. I mean, I know they always have been, but this year uh, when you're losing games and you're used to winning games, it says something about that fan base also that uh, they enjoyed what they were watching and we enjoyed that support. Yeah, but did they really enjoy what they were watching? Or look, they're just supporting they, they the support team. And I, and I think there's a difference there. And I get what Pop's saying. Look, I give Pop all the credit in the world. He is our, he's one of the best coaches in NBA history. Yeah. What happens next, though, is what I'm interested in. And Pop was asked a question about all the other guys, with the exception of Wimby. You're talking about Vassell, Sohan, Keldon Johnson, and Trey Jones. I don't expect all four of those guys to be back, but who would be the odd man out? Listen to what Pop has to say about those four guys. But Devin has turned into a confident scorer. You know, he can shoot it, he can drive it. Uh, he's up to his defense, understanding that uh, no defense, no wins. Uh, so uh, he's made a big step in that regard. Uh, Calden has become more of a uh, all-around player rather than, a, you know, the bull in the china shop. Give me ball, I go to rim. Uh, it's, you know, he's, he's a little bit more nuanced than that now, which, which helps him. And of course, Jeremy, you know, he's 
really a prime defender. Uh, he can guard one through four and enjoys it, which is great. I don't have to convince him to enjoy it. Uh, so uh, those three guys have been special in that regard. Uh, Trey has been Trey. You know, he's uh, he gets taken for granted because he does the same thing every night and gives 100% of what he has. And everybody respects it, knows it, and we need it. So uh, his consistency is off the charts. Yeah, I think Trey Jones earned himself a job I, with, with, with how he played. But the one guy in there that I thought Pop was complimenting him kind of was Keldon Johnson. He says more than a bull in a china shop. Give me the ball. I go to the rim. That he's kind of, and that will help him. I don't think he's saying that will help him here. And if there's a way that they can move on from Keldon Johnson, I think that's going to happen. I, I think there's. I think Trey will be a great backup mm-hmm. point guard mm-hmm. to a veteran point guard that they somehow acquire this year, either through trade or through free agency. You look at Keldon probably going somewhere else. I mean, you can't have a guy that bites teammates. Although, <laughs> did you hear him? He's like, I didn't bite him. I went in there screaming like I always do, and he put his face in my mouth. Yeah, I, I, you yeah, know, I didn't bite uh-huh, anybody. Yeah. Uh, and, and Keldon is such a good team guy. He is. And always happy. But at the same time, it was frustrating for me personally to always see him happy. At some point, be mad that you lost again. At some point, Show me that you give a damn. And it's one thing to say, I purposely try to stay even keel and always have mm-hmm. to go lucky. But at some point, act like you care that you're losing. And that's not fair to him. But I look at his game. He's been here a long time. How much has he developed? And and yes, he is better than he was. But moving forward, Devin Vassell, I, I would love to see him back. But depending on who you're working a trade with, Devin might have to go while you're bringing somebody else in. Uh, you know, and Jeremy, you know, I think Jeremy stays partly just because he's such a, a defensive guy. Yeah, but is he really? Yeah. And, and no, but I asked that question because this one stat that Pledge is always throwing out there with Wimby on the floor, the Spurs are what, six? Right? Without Wimby, they're like 20 something. So, Is Jeremy that good of a defensive player? Well, I I mean, they're not a good defensive team to begin with. So he's the best of a bad defensive player, but he does the dirty work. To me, he uh, if he had a Bruce uh, uh, Bruce Bowen type of role, absolutely. He better develop that jump shot then. Well, he's got to develop his game. And and I'm not convinced that he's, you know, uh, Jeremy, so, and he's a great defender. Well, mm, is he? Maybe he'll grow into that. He's a young guy. But I, I I don't look at Jeremy Sohan and say, whoa, Bruce Bowen. I mean, I, they're similar, and I get that. He's that style of player, but it's like Bruce Bowen shut you down. He doesn't. Well, and again, Jeremy Sohan doesn't do that. He, no. But I, I look at any offense you got from Bruce was gravy. And I think if you had a more defined role, he doesn't have to be exactly the way Bruce was with shutdown defense and hit me that corner three when we need it. He doesn't have to do that, but he could be that type of guy, a defensive specialist that is out there. Um, But again, if he has to go in order to make room for some other uh, players that are coming in that are better than what he is, then he has to go. Because you might look at what I'm saying, and and I've thought about this, boy, you know, held in a first-round pick, Jeremy, a first-round pick, they could be gone. Uh, Devin, you know, same thing. Is is that a knock on the Spurs drafting? And it's not no, no. because now that you have Victor, everything changes for whatever it is you were planning when you pick those guys. Do they fit with what Victor needs as, a, as an NBA pro and the veterans that you're going to be able to go get? Now, you think about Pop and the personnel decisions that they've got to make this offseason and taking emotion out of it. What's best fit for the team? According to Pop, it will be a collective effort from the Spurs front office types. Well, sure, we all do. I mean, this, this isn't a one, two, three man show. You know, RC's involved, Brian's involved, you know, all of Brian's staff, all my coaches, myself. Uh, no, no, we, we don't care where the ideas come from. We want everybody's opinions. We try to triangulate, you know, and see uh, where 
most of the sentiment falls. You know, do we want this, that, or the other? Uh, do we want to let this person go, sign this free agent, trade this person? All those things are uh, discussed broadly. So uh, it's always been and always will be that way as long as I'm here. Well, and, and I like that. And I think Pop's genuine when he says that. Well, you're going to have to look at it. You're going to have to start counting the numbers. And we're talking about getting rid of, of a cell, a, a Keldon Johnson. I mean, it's a lot of money to get rid of and ask somebody else to eat. So I, I think a Devin Vassell is a, is a guy that's going to be here because he's a scorer. Mm -hmm. And I think that they need that. And, and he's going to be a piece to this puzzle. Now, Keldon Johnson, um, he, he's making 19 million bucks next year. I think that's, you know, that's, in, that's in the NBA in world, the NBA. That's, that's nothing, right? So I think you're okay there. Where where Devin, his big salary kicks in. He's going to be making just under $30 million bucks next year. Which, for what he offers a team, is is still very affordable. The NBA salaries are, are nuts. And, again, if the Spurs, I don't, I want Devin to be here. But depending on where he could go and what you're, what you're bringing in, his role, it took him a half a season to realize Wemby is the number one option on this team. <laughs> it did. If you bring in another veteran person and maybe he goes from number two to number three, is he going to be okay with that? Is there a more consistent scorer that they're able to bring in? Maybe a more consistent scorer that also plays defense, but at the same time, depending on, like, if they make a trade with somebody that's trying to do a salary dump. Now, you know, Trey Young's name comes up a lot. Well, have you seen what Atlanta's asking for? I don't see the Spurs giving up all that for a Trey Young. Uh -huh. I, I just don't. But Atlanta would be in a salary dump mode if they're doing that. So they might not want Devin's salary uh -huh. coming back. So sometimes it will depend on who your trade partner is. But I, I look at this offseason and pretty much everybody not named Wemby is expendable. If depending on what you're getting back. And that's the idea. Am I replacing these players with better players that are a better fit for Victor? That's what had me obviously you have to look at that. I, I but I think it it when you look at Devin Vassell, I think that he's gonna be harder to to move mm -hmm. than say a Keldon Johnson or Jeremy Sohan. And, and that's that's what I look at. And look, I, I don't think the Spurs have to bring in a big superstar. I don't think they have to, but I do think they need some veteran talent to surround uh, Wimby with, and they need some scoring. They need scoring punch. For me, a point guard is necessary, absolutely, but I think you've got to have that shooter, that scorer, and that wing player, like a Devin Vassell, somebody like him, maybe a, a two, that, that can come in and and put some points on the board. You know, the, you look at the uh, Spurs, because of these wins down the stretch, cost them the bottom three. So instead of a 14% chance of winning the lottery, they're now at 10.5%, right? Right. They do have their own first-round pick, uh -huh. which you know should end up being a, a pretty good pick. And they've got Toronto's, unless Toronto finishes, ends up in the top six. And they've got, I don't know, a gazillion second-round picks that, that are all tradable, uh -huh. by the way. Um so a mix of what they do in the draft, and I know there's that Windhorst report that when he spent his weekend here that they're eyeing the 25 draft. I'm sure they are, but they're not going to take another year like this to get to the 25 draft. I, I just don't not. see that Jeez. happening. And with the way Wemby was playing and the, uh, the way Wemby played this year, he is so much further along than I think all of us thought. For a guy that exceeded expectations that already had high expectations that it's kind of crazy to think that and even pop was like yeah man this guy's better than we thought he was going to be oh sure he was much more uh malleable and accepting uh expanding his role expanding his game uh both defensively and offensively uh i'm i'm not sure you'll have to ask him if he was playing on leading the league in blocks when he came but, you know, that was like a requirement. Uh, we wanted him at the basket, and we want him rebounding and blocking shots. Uh, he likes to shoot that three. Uh, so that was probably not exactly what he was expecting from me off the bat. Uh, but 
he's a competitor. He wants to win. Uh, obviously, he's gifted, but I needed to show him that he's gifted in a whole lot more ways than he knows. And expanding his game was really a, a priority. Uh, so he's he's uh, made me uh, understand that he has those Tim Duncan qualities of innate basketball IQ and a, a fire that he wants to be the best. And, you know, you have to be with somebody. Anybody can tell you anything about a player, but you have to be with them so you get to understand their gut and their mentality, their philosophy, what, what makes them tick. And he is and will continue to be special. And he's only going to get better. I mean, obviously, right? As good as he is now, you got to figure he's going to be better. He's not going to have that deer in the headlights look come next November nope. like he had this year. So I, I really hope that there's a way, and I know this draft is not all that great. From what we hear from the so-called experts, this draft is not a uh, an overwhelming thing that you're going to change your team with, and I guess 2025 is. Um, but you get some players, you use some of that. If you end up with two first-rounders, I mean, what a bargaining chip. What a bargaining chip. And the Spurs have a bunch of first-rounders next year. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can go out and get some veteran players that you can come in here and build a team it's not going to take three or four years. You can get it done and start to win next season with a talent like Victor Wimbanyama. It is the Blitz here on 94-1. San Antonio sports star CBS with a major fumble last what? night. <laughs> Dumb. 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 We'll explain coming up here on the Blitz on 94-1 San Antonio Sports You know Star. how it is, Jason. I mean, going into the draft is, is quite the gamble sometimes. But sometimes it's fun to gamble because, yeah, well, sometimes you win. That's the experience you can have at the best poker room in the city of San Antonio and beyond, for that matter. I've been to a lot of them. There's nothing better than the big blind. And I tell you what, they have fixed this place up like uh, nobody's business. Jason and I did the show from there last Thursday, or last Wednesday, I should say. I stuck around, played in their $6,000 tournament. It was a blast. That's the kind of excitement that you have. And look, you don't have to be a, an expert poker player to go in there. Whatever your skill level is, even if you're just a beginner, they have a table for you. Not to mention the fact, look, it's from the owners of the Roo Pub and the Angry Elephant, so of course the food is going to be fantastic. The beverages, anything you want, served directly to your table. They do have a full bar called the Railbird Bar, which is one of the prettiest bars I think I've ever seen. And of course, TV's all over the place, so you're not going to miss a minute of the action. The Big Blind is a members-only social club. Look, get in there. If you haven't been in there, get in there. You'll want to see this place. If you have, you know what I'm talking about. I can't wait to get back in there. The Big Blind is right down from the Rue Pub and the Angry Elephant, right there at 281 and Redland Road. You're listening to The Blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM Floorsville. And everywhere at sasportstar.com. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Tired of hearing scary radio ads about the IRS? Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000 or $500,000, we have a solution. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS with zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. We have over a 1,000 five-star reviews on Google and an A-plus with a BBB. End your tax nightmare today by visiting TRA.com or call 800-583-6681. That's 800-583-6681. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. 
If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Puto San Antonio football returns to the Alamo Dome this Saturday night as the San Antonio Brahmas play host to the Michigan Panthers. Pack the dome for a 6 p.m. kickoff. Follow the Brahmas social channels for a link to get your Brahmas Fiesta medal with your tickets. Experience the excitement. Buy your tickets now at theufl.com. Come watch Coach Wade Phillips lead the Brahmas to take on the Michigan Panthers Saturday night at 6 in the Dome. Get your tickets now at theufl.com. Vamos, Bramas! Is switching your wireless service to Total by Verizon easy? Totalmente! And you get unlimited 5G data? $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan? At an amazing price? With no contracts? Should you switch to Total by Verizon? Definitely! Uh, I mean, Totalmente. find a store or switch suavemente at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate without a pay, plus taxes and fees. Discount begins the month after you enroll. Additional terms apply. See website for data management practices. Tyler from Wendy's here. The best part of Wendy's new Cinnabon pull-apart is every part. Unlike mornings, which have no good parts. Until now. Because with Wendy's new breakfast Cinnabon pull-apart, mornings finally don't completely suck. And now that mornings have warm cinnamon sugar rolled dough and ooey gooey frosting, are they the best part of every day? Probably not, but you get the idea. Get to Wendy's today and get the best part in every bite with the new Cinnabon Pull Apart. At participating U.S. Wendy's, Cinnabon is a registered trademark of Cinnabon Franchise or SPP LLC. Listen to 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star on your Amazon or Google smart speaker and just say, Alexa, play 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Well, the NBA playoffs are set. The regular season is all over. The Oklahoma City Thunder, Thunder, the number one seed in the West, followed by Denver, Minnesota, Los Angeles Clippers, Mavs and Suns playing tournament. Features 7 8 matchup Pelicans, Lakers, Kings, Warriors as the 9 10. That all kicks off tomorrow night. And NFL teams have started their voluntary workouts. Cowboys wide receiver CD Lamb, a no show. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minutes. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 a San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Ryan Engelein, Jason Minix. Glad to have you along on a Monday afternoon. Absolutely. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I did. Absolutely. It was a good weekend. Great weekend. Great weekend. I enjoyed it. Did you do anything fun? Um, oh, I watched the Masters yesterday at a, at a party. Yeah. Masters uh, themed with pimento cheese and pimento logo cheese. bags of chips, huh? Actually had a, a pimento cheese sandwich, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I ate it. It was good. It was all right. The pulled pork was fantastic. Yeah. That they give you. I didn't eat an egg salad. I'm, I, I couldn't do that. All right. Couldn't do that. I had uh, six things of Frito pie on Saturday. <laughs> Who won? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Now, I know that sounds bad. I have no idea. And I've had people ask. So I was at Alamo Heights Junior School, the junior school. They're all fancy over there in the 09 world. So and it was an interesting event. I had no idea what I was getting into. But at Alamo Heights Junior High, this is the second year they call it Mulch Mania. Mulch. Yeah. They get all the different school groups and organizations and just local people to come help beautify the campus. They were spreading mulch and you know, doing all kinds you of things. You didn't spread mulch. Not a, no, I'm not doing any of that garden work. I, <laughs> I, I don't do I yard work at my that. house, let alone at a at a junior high school. But so they created a big event, and one of them was a Frito pie contest. And, you know, 
none of the judges, and they were all school board members, uh, PTA mom, and Ron Ritterman, the head football coach there oh, at Alamo nice, High. Yeah. None of us had a clue what we were actually getting into other than Mr. Guthrie had asked us, and we all said, well, of course, this sounds wonderful. Frito pies, yeah, let's go. So talking with, with Coach Ritterman beforehand, it was like, well, if somebody brings us the Frito pie in a bag, they win. Yeah. Right? That's, well, they all came in the same kind of boat with the number on it. We had no idea what the team names were. They were just all numbered. And so at the end of it, it was team whatever was first place and second place and third place. But I have no idea. They announced the team name, but it was, I don't know, some school group uh, from Alamo High Junior High. But I have no idea what the team name was. I don't remember. Well, just, how did you judge? What were the, what was the criteria? Well, apparently, I was the hardest judge of them all. Is that right? I, I really was because I put some low scores in there. Uh-huh. Nobody else did, but I had some, well, I mean, we had to judge on some criteria okay. that, that they gave uh-huh. us. Presentation is one, taste, flavor, all that. Somebody had carrots in their Frito pie. Carrots? Yeah, they lost. Yeah. Um, Why would you put carrots in a Frito the pie? the hell out of me. One didn't have chili. Really? Yeah, you know, they had some ranch style beans. It was really good, <laughs> but I got to knock you because you have no chili. Ranch style beans. Yeah, it was it was good. I love ranch style yeah, beans. I know it was yeah. it was good, uh-huh. but I wouldn't classify that as Frito pie. No, it's certainly a, not in a contest. It's a bean pie. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, one was uh, all right. I'm not sure they had all kinds of stuff going on in there. So, uh-huh. you know, another one. So I mean, you know, you rated it on that. The taste of the chili and you know spices and presentation but apparently i was especially the lady next to me was the uh, mom or the pto mom or president or whatever you call it she was like man you're a hard grader like somebody had like 11 <laughs> you know which is damn near impossible on a one to five scale but, right yeah, you yeah. Know, all of it was you know well, jason they're kids man well they're kids well i think there were some adults involved they're there too ki- they're kids yeah, look you don't put carrots in a frito pie dude i don't know who did yeah, that you put, what would you do if you saw carrots in a frito pie i, I probably would have just thrown in the trash and said i did try you it. lose i'll it, give you it, a zero in all, in all fairness i ate around the carrots like i would with a stew uh, and tried it and um but you had carrots in there that you was it homemade chili or, or did you open a can of chili uh i'm I, I couldn't answer that question. I'm I'm guessing there was a little bit of both. All right. There there was one that I thought was very much uh store bought and not even the expensive stuff. <laughs> there was one that I know was homemade because you could just tell. Yeah. You could uh-huh. just tell. All right. They All right. they did well. Of of the I think there were six or seven voters. My top three finished in the top three in the overall. Although my number one finish second and and so but my top three all finished in the top three and the other ones uh did not so i felt good about my judging that everybody else was was right in line i mean you ought to know dude you've eaten frito pies everywhere there is a frito pie to eat well it it, it, although yesterday i went to the brahma's game i didn't get a frito pie well i I wouldn't think so frito pied out (laughs) Give, give me give me a week (laughs) <laughs> nothing destroyed my stomach though so i was in pretty good shape well, let's get nothing too spicy no wow no there was one that had some uh uh some kick to it but it was good it was it was really good nice okay yeah. well good good Glad but I, had... I i couldn't tell you who won could not tell you That's who won. damn shame oh but it was fun times we're sitting here wanting to know who won i have no idea no and what... even if i told you who won you wouldn't know what's the principal's name mr guthrie mr guthrie we need a phone call, sir. Yeah. I need to know who won that Frito Pie contest. It was the that group over yonder. Yeah. And we well, saw them. We took a picture with them afterwards. And they, well, I was looking in the in the photo that they sent me, and uh I couldn't even tell from the photo what the group name was. I just think they need a little, you know, a little, a little, little publicity. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Have a little pat on the back. There you go. You're the Frito they, Pie champion they, of Alamo Heights. They know. They know. Well, we, we and, what, and, and I will say this, I was very glad to see that after the contest was over and all the kids and everybody there at the event that were going to get their Frito pies, it was Fritos in a bag and they were taking their mix and putting it in there. Well, that's nice. Yeah, except for they were doing it wrong. They were. They were doing it wrong. How were they doing it wrong? They were just opening the top of the uh-huh. bag and dumping the, the chili in there. Okay. As opposed to getting scissors and cutting the side of the bag so it opens up better. Ah, they were yeah, doing see, it wrong. They were doing it wrong. They were doing it yeah, wrong. Yeah, absolutely. You got to teach them. There, yeah. There's a right way to do it. And I tried. Nobody had scissors. These kids keep, today. Yeah, I'll tell you. You got to learn them up. <laughs> you got to learn them up.
Let's do the headline blitz. This is Jason and Joe's headline blitz. Two guys, two opinions, never enough time. Yesterday could have been a banner day for the CBS television network and here locally, Channel 5. Um, and I'm sure it was. I mean, the ratings probably going to be really good for, for CBS. Yep, you had yep. the Masters, and then you also had the Billy Joel Sting concert, uh, which for a lot of people in San Antonio, a preview of what you will see October 25th in the Alamo Dome when Sting and Billy Joel play the Dome. But it was the 100th, 100th show in the residency for Billy Joel at Madison Square Garden. Mind you, it was not live. This concert was like March 28th. So CBS has had time to edit things down. And CBS knew they could make a whole lot of money because a lot of fans were bitching about the number of commercials that they put in there and the songs that didn't make the broadcast. But at the very end, the biggest fumble of them all. Live from CBS 4, <laughs> this is your new Show in the app. middle of Piano oh. Man, they cut the Piano Man off and went to the local news. Wow. Across the country. Well, look, for a guy that was on TV for a lot of years, I am I would have been very happy that they did that because that means I wouldn't have to work late. So it's all about me when it comes down to that. And probably all those people that work for all of those CBS affiliates were happy as hell. <laughs> and it's like, if you want to go get, see your Piano Man, go to Spotify. Go somewhere else. Dude. Look it up on YouTube. That is so wrong. I'm just saying. That is so wrong. But how does CBS screw that? <laughs> it's being compared to the Heidi game. Oh, my gosh. I, I mean, you, you you cut them off. At one, it's his biggest song. Uh-huh. Right? Now, because the Masters went long, everything else was going long, but they were getting to their 10 o'clock news on time. They 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 were. How did How did they make an error like that? I don't know if it happened two weeks ago. You've got to edit it where it fits. Well, it probably did fit, and then the masters went long. Well, it couldn't have gone that long. I mean, he was like right in the middle of Piano Man. Well, what do you have? Two minutes left. I mean, did they did they trim down sixty minutes? Did they? They're not going to do that. That's uh, like I, that's the I, bell cow. I, I mean, the, you know what's on it at seven tracker. I have no um, idea. I, I, you know, and and, and well, I, I remember because I was looking. So I could DBR this thing. It's probably survival episode 50 I don't, or year 50. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Jeff Probe's still running that no thing, right? Kidding, but e either way, I don't, I, I, CBS, a major fumble to the point that they are now going to re air this <laughs> in its entirety <laughs> on April 19th. <laughs> when are they going to do that? When? Yeah. Literally, I just said April 19th. I know, but what? Uh, uh, just the song or the whole damn thing? The whole thing. They're going to rebroadcast in its entirety on CBS April 19th. Holy at, cow. At 9 Eastern, the concert special filmed uh, uh, of Joel doing 100 consecutive performances at Madison Square Garden. Do you really want to see that again? I mean. I mean, honestly. Billy Joel. I, I just saw Billy Joel. And Stevie Nicks at Jerry World a couple of weeks ago. Right. And it was fantastic. And they're not going to cut off the end. I mean, like, there were other songs that they, they trimmed out. I don't know if they're going to add those in. To me, is this CBS just saying, well, we could resell this thing. Let's let's do it again. I'm sure they will. Yeah, you know, we're going to re-edit it to make sure that we're not, we didn't screw it up by three minutes or five minutes or whatever it might be. See, but I, you cut it off during his biggest song. I guess. I, and, and I don't know how it works when, as I understand the broadcast world, with, like for us, we have what we call hard outs uh -huh. at, at the end of end the hours to get to the top of the hour. So you join the network on time. We ran into this the other day with Nancy Lieberman. You know, we were running up against where we had to take the break. We had to take the break. I could ask her eight more questions, but you can't. You got to you got to end the interview. Yeah. It, but in television, things go long all the time with live sporting events. Uh huh. And you adjust on the fly. Sure. Could they not have sent a note to every CBS affiliate? I don't know through email or some sort of thing saying, "Hey, uh, this is running three and a half minutes late. We'll get to you at yes ten o three. 
They could have. So why didn't they? Well, it, who a lot made of, that decision? A lot of well, <laughs> it's not me sitting Joe, in the back. Joe right? Reinagle, like, if you were still at Kings, you would be getting phone calls, I, man. I guarantee you, I would be. Used to get them every Sunday. What the hell, Joe? Why'd you switch off that game? It's like, well, I'm not doing it. A lot of times that's all computerized now, too, though. With a computer, boom, at a certain time, shuts it off. Now, if somebody can go, you know, talk to the computer and do something, I'm not. I, I, so, so the guy working master control in New York. Way above by pay. Well, the one where we got this soundbite from was the New York broadcast. Yeah. Because they go right into the New York news. Yeah. Dude, I, I have no sympathy for them. And if they're going to air it again, great. I, I don't know what. Does oh, CBS not have anything else on April 19th? Apparently not. I don't even know what day, what day of the week is that. April 19th. Is that a Friday? <laughs> Friday? Night? That's a Friday night? Yeah, Friday. Yeah. yeah. That's the worst day of the week for local yeah, It's TV. like this Friday. It is. It is. This Friday. It's the worst day of the week. And nobody's going to be home to watch it because well, it's a Friday. Exactly. So CBS is covering their butt. Uh -huh. And they're, they're going to re-air this thing. Probably make more money. We had to do that with the, you know, what's that song at the end of the NCAA tournament? One Shining Moment. That one. Well, you guys, you, you guys really screwed the pooch on that Dude, one years I ago. Play, I had to, we had to play that thing, like, I don't know, for two weeks. People were pissed. <laughs> well, I remember back in the day when I worked at Channel 5. <laughs> Boy, at 1035, you went to Cheers, regardless. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, No doubt. That was the biggest moneymaker forever, man. It didn't matter what they were doing. We're going to Cheers. Wow. But uh -huh. why you guys cut off one shining moment that year? That, that was an unforgivable sin. Of course, that point, was my fault, to, obviously. To, to the point uh -huh. that one Rob Thompson was so mad, he actually called the TV station to complain. Well, he was one of uh, thousands yes. that did. The phones lit up. Yes. It was nuts. And we were doing Spurs broadcast. We had a Spurs game the next day and had to do that. We had a special leading up to the Spurs. We had to run it in that thing yes. twice. Don't mess with one it, shining it moment. It was nuts. So while you're sitting at the at the anchor desk and you know at whatever time it is, you know, 959 uh -huh. because everything is down to the second. Uh -huh. You know when you're supposed to start. Uh-huh. Whoever was anchoring Channel 5's news last night, is he sitting there going, Phil well, and I it was. was I, it, was, I would assume he Phil? normally does. Well, Sunday. I mean, you know, it's his vacation. So Phil's sitting there. <laughs> okay, I wonder if we can get a copy of what happened at, at Channel 5. Probably nothing. I guess this is an idea that neither one of us were watching. But, you know, you're in the middle of Piano Man. Is the anchor sitting there going, well, there's no way they're going to come. Hi, it's Channel 10. <laughs> you, you know, coming up. Music just starts playing. Yeah. Here's the open. Hey. Well, I guess we're going. Whatever. Hey, if you want to watch Billy Joel again, all over again, great, good for you. Mm -hmm. I would have been happy about it. I mean, I get out of here three and a half minutes earlier. Hell yes. Let's go. But what about your viewers, man? Well, you know. You don't cut I mean, off the Piano Man during Piano Man. Dude, everybody watching that concert probably had Piano Man about a million times. That's the, the point is watching it. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it's why you're watching it. Uh-huh. Get a life. It's, wow. <laughs> He's at Joe Reinagle 210. <laughs> you can tweet at me, at Jason Menix. <laughs> If you're watching on YouTube, you can comment there. Joe says, get a life. I want to start my job and end on time. I don't I don't get paid overtime. Exactly. Doesn't matter. I don't want to, but, you yeah. know, get home at yeah. midnight instead of 1145. It I mean, makes do, a difference. Do you have the same philosophy of, well, it's uh, 10 o'clock, cut the game off? No. Oh. I don't. And be pissed if they did. But I've heard piano. It's not, that's like knowing the ending of the game and they cut it off. And you're like, oh, well, she's. You know, Dallas lost again to the Green Bay Packers, so it's go. all right. Here but, we I mean, go. you know, it's not like you missed anything. Mm -hmm. The Piano Man. Mm -hmm. Same words. Sing it the same way. Different when you're there. A million times. Different when you're watching it. Yeah. You just don't end that. I've invested two hours, and you've turned off the movie before it's over. People, Even uh, if I know how it's going to end, you turn it off before and it's over. And people were singing along. You know they were. Absolutely. Like, hey, Piano Man. Uh, yeah. what? Hey, yeah. what? What? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if anybody's upset, call Ken's. What's complaint. the number? Call Bill Taylor. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> I heard it was his fault. It probably was. <laughs> it probably was. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff to get into coming up. A, an injury that, um, quite frankly, is um, awful. 
Yeah, I would say. Some guy broke his um, in two places. His wiener? <laughs> in he two places. He knows how big he swings it. <laughs> um, well, he rolled over wrong, apparently. And it, it was having a hell of a dream, apparently. <laughs> it says, <laughs> says it happened in his sleep. Details. Wow. <clears throat> it's coming up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pun not intended. No. On the Blitz on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. You know, with the uh, playoffs starting uh, tomorrow with those play-in games, you want to watch some baseball. You also have some big fights coming up. You know, the Roop Hub is the go-to spot for any big fights, any big game because of those three massive 170-inch screens and TVs all around. And when you show up at the Roop Hub, show up hungry. The food, fantastic. They got the biggest and best wings in town. About 15 different burgers on the menu, including the original Wemby burger. Great salads, great appetizers, and that kitchen is open late till 2 a.m. every day with the full menu available. The Roo Pub has happy hour weekdays from 11 to 6. Great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and the best place to watch a game. The Roo Pub, just down from the big blind, right next to the Angry Elephant. There at 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roo. It's the 2024 NFL Draft on 94.1 San Antonio's Sports Star. We're the 24th pick. The Dallas Cowboys select. April 25th, 26th, and 27th. Join 94.1 San Antonio's Sports Star for this year's NFL Draft. Live from Detroit. I love the tenacity and the aggression with which he plays. He is a mauler. Who do the Cowboys and Texans pick? Does Jerry make a splash? Who goes number one? And who's the next Mr. Irrelevant? The Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud. Uh, you don't ever want to pass on the guy you ought to be taking, dude, but still be position select. I thought Sauce Gardner would be the first corner, but you go back to 2019, and that version of Derek Stingley is as good as anybody in this entire draft class. Find out right here on your exclusive home for the NFL Draft. 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So, what are you waiting for? Get your T levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Are you ready to party with a purpose? Pace to the North Side is Thursday, April 18th at the beautiful Security Service Event Center for foodies includes on-site cover parking entertainment unlimited tastings from over 30 premier restaurants countless curated wines and craft beers hosted by brighton center presented by heb purchase tickets at taste of the proceeds benefit brighton center the largest nonprofit in san antonio serving children with disabilities through pediatric therapy and education initiatives nigel what's up with your hair 
Joel, prices are insane these days. I'm cutting my own hair. Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news. For a limited time, all Quarter Moon 14 Seer AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change and say, bless your heart. Quarter Moon Plumbing, Heat and AC. 210-651-5899. License number M16004. TACLA 0007 No one does happy hour like Twin Peaks. Get to your local Twin Peaks Monday through Friday from 2 to 7 and score some sweet deals like dollar off all wine, liquor, and of course, cheap shots. Freezing cold, 29 degree cold beer. Of course, we expect that. And you need more? How about a snack? Twin Peaks has select apps for 2 4 and $6. And you can always come back for the late night specials. Why would you even leave for the reverse happy hour? No one does happy hour quite like Twin Peaks. Eats, drinks, and oh, those scenic views. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob Thompson and RJ Ochoa. Tuesday on the Morning Huddle, we have ourselves a play-in. Not play-off, but play-in. We'll get you ready for all that matters tonight. The Cowboys all quiet on the Frisco front. Anything go down over the weekend? We'll talk about that as well. And the Spurs, well, their only thing left is to look forward. Now back to the Blitz. Jason and Joe, I cannot wait till Fiesta. Do we have any extra medals laying around here? Um, sure. Do we? I mean, not ours. It's been a while since we've done uh, Fiesta medals here at the station. I don't know. I mean, those are kind of cool. And people, a lot of people like them. I'm not a collector of medals. Me neither, although I did get my first one the other day from KSYM, the oh, yeah? uh, SAC radio oh, station. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Is it a swanky metal? Oh, uh, sure. I mean, I, you know, some of them are really, they, they, really swanky. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Have you seen the uh, one from, from Saws? What is that, Pledge? Pledge has got one he's holding up right now. Well, you can hold it up. It's in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> and they're not going to tell us about it? Good Lord. Um, Pledge looks very Ivy League today, doesn't he? I'm not sure what Pledge has going on. You got the tie and the uh, cardigan sweater there going on. and Yeah, very Ivy League, very Harvard. Very what? Harvard. He's got, I, a, he's got a drink with the, with the pinky up. But he said hollered. <laughs> Gizzard. Yeah, your, your Boston is bad. <laughs> Most of them are. So, I mean, you know. Yeah. But I do what I do. So, um... <laughs> Pledge, are you going to tell us about the model or just continue to stare at it? I'm trying to figure it out. I was making sure it is what I thought it was. It's one of those ones that Maddie Sky gave us, the living from, La from like a couple of years ago. So you've got a you've got a Fiesta medal from a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. All right, well that doesn't count for getting one for this year. Yeah, but at least he's got one. Yeah, more than you and I have. Well, sure. Obviously, more than Rob Thompson Although that's has. That's just been sitting on his uh, shelf for um, a couple of years. Still in the bag. I bet you if you wore that out to some oh, yeah. event, That's, people would want it. You could trade that away. Yeah. I mean, leave it in the bag. It's collectors. Now, did you see the saws one that they put out there? on? Uh, I did not. Yeah, Is it so, flushable wipes? Yeah. yeah it says, that, you know, <laughs> don't flush wipes. They clog pipes. There, so was, I, there, was a, there was a whole article about that know, in the Express it News over the weekend. You sent it to you, me. You pipe clogger, you. I'm like, that's fake news, it's man. It's not Come on. fake news. Apparently, it's real news because the photo they showed of all the wipes that they pulled out of their system is pretty gross. Wow. Well, yes. I'm sorry they have to do that, but I'm clean. <laughs> but your pipes, sir. Well, I, so far, I've had no issue. According to that article, even the ones that say flushable should not. Well, why do they say flushable? Because they want you to buy them. Well, then they should get with saws and any other water system and, and come up with a term that works. Yeah. Yeah, don't flush these, is what Saul's would okay, like well, you I'm to not know. Put, I'm not putting them in the trash can, and I'm not going to stop using them. So there you go. Just saying. I like to be clean, Minix. I understand. Clean. I get it. You can get a bidet. Well, I that that would be nice. Yeah. But it's got to have warm water. Good luck with that. No cold water. <laughs> You're so delicate. <laughs> My hiney is. Speaking of delicate, Joe, Joe you know, I, I send Joe an article about uh, flushing wipes. He sends me an article. The headline says, man breaks his dong in two places. <laughs> yes. Here's a snap, but there's a happy ending. Well, of course, you've got to read that article. Of course you do. Now, apparently this guy was um, erect while asleep, and he rolled over 
and he broke it in two places. Gosh. Two. Yeah. Not one, but two. Now, you would think that you could come up with a better story on how you broke it in two different places, and it wouldn't be alone asleep, right? <laughs> A little more exciting story than that. Although I want to hear the, about all that dream that he was having. Well, I mean, who, who knows? But apparently, doctors surgically fixed him, and in four days he was working properly. Yeah, well, and I can't even pronounce some of the things well, that they're talking about. You don't about. want to. I mean, not, I don't think they're bad. It's, uh, it's well, uh, but I'm not a doctor. Subcutaneous edema, I, substantial hematoma. Oh, that sounds at the awful. Penile base. Yeah, that sounds horrible. I mean, this is a real story. It's a long, drawn-out process to fix this thing, according to this article. Well, you would think. And uh, if long you want to, and drawn if you out, want to huh? see how it is, it gives you another link to go yeah, to. Yeah, I'm not clicking that link. I, I don't think I want to do not, that either. Not clicking that link. Huh. But, you you, you know, you've got to be careful if you toss and turn in the middle of the night. Because uh, you can really hurt yourself. You yeah. <laughs> know, it's funny because it's this not. particular website has... The lesson to be learned from the guy who broke it while rolling around in bed. Here's some suggestions. I'll go there. <laughs> don't read that part. <laughs> okay. Don't read that part. Well, so I don't, won't, re don't I won't read, read number one. Don't read that part. Cold shower before bed. Uh, Well, sure. You can read that part. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. Look at photos of how to fix a fractured one. Uh, but don't look. I'm warning you. Yeah, I don't want to see those pictures. Yeah. Asleep in a recliner. Interesting. If you've got issues like that. I tell you what, there's some weird stories out there. Well, there there is. And there's one guy that could be sleeping alone after what he said on television yesterday. Oh, yeah? I, I don't know if you were watching, because I, I wasn't watching Billy Joel and uh, Sting last night. No. I, ironically, I was watching a little bit of the Dodgers-Padres game before I put on Loudermilk. And, <laughs> you know... There was a home run <laughs> that helped you sleep. Louder milk <laughs> by the, the the Padres, and a Dodger fan catches it. You know, he he throws a baseball back because uh, that's what you do in sure, LA, right? Except for the TV cameras caught this guy pulling a baseball that he brought to the park out of the stadium and throwing it back. Well, the ESPN crew sent Buster Olney over to talk to this guy, and they got more out of this interview than they were expecting. I'm definitely going to keep it. Um, the wife won't like it because uh, I try to collect baseballs a lot, and I have too many as it is. But this one's for sure going on the mantle. All right, Renan, thank you. No Throw back to you. Well, Buster, you just ask, what is the best baseball he's got? What's the, what's the best one? He's actually experienced. He caught an Albert Pujols home run ball in the home run derby. Is that the best baseball you've ever caught? Absolutely. That's the only baseball I've caught on the fly during a game. I come early for batting practice all the time. Uh, but the Pujols home run derby ball and this were the, are the only two officially I've ever caught during a game or a derby. So why is your wife mad at you? Um, <laughs> we don't have enough time in the telecast to talk. And talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Renan. Back to you guys. <laughs> the answer, the million dollar answer. Star is born. <laughs> There's just not enough time in the telecast mm -hmm. to get into that. Why is your wife mad at you? Hmm. Maybe because he goes to too many damn baseball games. <laughs> That's a possibility. It's, well, sometimes is is it still or is this new? Why are you mad at me? Is it are you still mad or is this a new mad? And can you tell me why? <laughs> <laughs> and nine times out of ten, no. Yeah, they can't. They, they can't. Well, what a great answer. That was a great that was answer. a great answer, and every guy listening can relate. I just, you know, that's a pretty good trick that that guy's got going on, carrying a baseball in one pocket. You catch the other one, so people don't boo you and get mad at you. The old switcheroo. Yeah. Except for he got busted on television. Wow. Although nobody around him seemed to notice, so he didn't get booed. He would have got away with it if he wasn't caught on television. That guy. And now he's going to be sleeping on the couch because... Of what he said about his wife. Probably. It not sounds enough, like he was sleeping there anyway. Not enough time in the telecast yeah. for that one. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Voluntary workouts begin in the NFL. No C.D. Lamb. We'll no explain. Micah Parsons. Yeah, we'll explain coming up here on the Blitz on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. You know what I love when I open up Instagram or Facebook or any of the social media apps and I see the happy customers of Parkhurst New Vision. I like that because I feel like I'm part of a community. 
because I am a happy customer of Parkhurst New Vision. Had lens replacement surgery about a year ago, and I, I tell you what, I'm, I just love the results more and more every single day. I see better now than I've seen 30 years ago, and it's incredible. And you read all these nice uh, words that these uh, clients have to say about Parkhurst New Vision. They're loving life as well. And what's not to love? Dr. Parkhurst and his incredible staff over there, they're the best in the business. From the moment you walk in that place, you feel at home, you feel like family. Look, let them do for you what they've done for me. You got to get the process started. You got to give them a phone call, 210-585-2020. You can also check them out online at sanantoniolasic.com. When you do that, you're going to set up an appointment for a consultation. You go in there, you ask your questions, you tell them Joe Reinagle from The Blitz sent you, and then they're going to explain to you how they're going to continue the process to get your eyesight the best that it has ever been. It is incredible. Call Parkhurst New Vision. There's nobody better in the business. The number again, 210-585-2020. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Thursday on the Morning Huddle, I got Caitlin Fever. The WNBA trap came and went with a fever carry on, and the play-in begins. It's not playoffs. We're playing in, and we're getting you ready. Plus, the NFL draft starts next Thursday. What will the Dallas Cowboys do? Because it's the draft, which means they actually have to do something. We have the answers. The Morning Huddle starts at 6. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Morning 6 to 10 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owe the IRS around $57,000 and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments. And after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. Okay, guys, we got to put our trays up for takeoff. Where's Dad? Oh, he's in the back. We could only get three seats together. Daddy has my pillow. We'll get it later. Can you not put your feet up, please? Why aren't we going? (sighs) We must be in line for takeoff. Like security? Well, that was a different line. I have to go. We just sat down. But I have to go. The seatbelt sign's on. Why aren't we moving? Hey, no kicking. We're just 15 in line for takeoff. Son of a... Don't go there. Go on a real vacation. Go RVing. Learn more at GoRVing.com. If you need bold banners to boost your business, but you're on a budget, think Staples. Posters, flyers, signs, and menus for less? Think Staples. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward. Now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Same day service available on hundreds of items if you order by noon. And all backed by Staples Print Perfect Guarantee. So it's done right or it's printed again free. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. And 6-1, visit staples.com slash print for details. Hi, I'm attorney Steve Benke. If you've made the decision to divorce, you need an experienced attorney who can help. I've helped many people get through divorce, custody, child support, and alimony problems. Call me. I'm attorney Steve Benke. 210 Divorce or go to BenkeLaw.com. Buyers Barricades is proud to provide traffic control, rental, and sales for work zones and events in the San Antonio area and beyond. Buyers Barricades, the Texas authority in barricade rental. Learn more online at buyersbarricades.com. That's buyersbarricades.com. Hey, baseball fans, go yard with BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. All season long, we're offering top odds on your favorite home run bets, shared 50K Grand Slam jackpots, fast and convenient ways to play same-game parlays, special boosts and tokens, and so much more. From the first pitch to the game-winning fireworks, there are more ways than ever to supercharge your excitement. Whether you want to combine multiple bets for the chance at a bigger payout or place a live bet as the game unfolds, BetMGM has all the home run betting options you could need. Download the BetMGM app, head to the ballpark, and get your piece of MLB action. BetMGM 
is an official partner of Major League Baseball. See terms. 21 years of age or older. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. For New York, call 8778-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. For Arizona, call 1-800-NEXT-STEP. For Massachusetts, 1-800-327-5050. For Iowa, 1-800-BETS-OFF. For Puerto Rico, 1-800-981-0023. For West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net in partnership with Kansas Crossing Casino and Hotel. Are your windows struggling to keep up with the game? It's time to upgrade with Maverick Windows. Stay ahead of the competition with energy-efficient windows. Call Maverick Windows at 800-972-3631. That's 800-972-3631 to get a free quote. This is Andrew Monaco and the 941 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 941 at San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason. I'm going to glad to have you along on 94.1. Maybe you're listening at sasportstar.com, watching on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the San Antonio Sports Star YouTube channel. You can always comment in there. And a lot of people commenting on um, wipes. <laughs> <clears throat> and, and I find this curious. Uh, I, I'm not, I've used these. I'm, I'm just not hooked on them like some people. Well, I mean, right. it's a game changer. So Bo LaHue, uh-huh. the uh, general manager over at the golf club of Texas, yeah. sent me a photo of his dude wipes in the package. Not a used one, thank goodness. He said, send this to Joe. They're flushable, and the shea butter ones are the best. I live by them. I always have a pack of them everywhere I go. Yeah, well, that's smart man. Yeah, well, and so he sends me a photo of his extra large wipes. <laughs> Shea butter, smooth, shea butter, coconut, and almond scented. Wow. And then it says uh, flushable wipes for flushing seat back panel. So there's instructions on how to flush? See, I don't know. I, 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 I mean, I, I like, I, seriously. I haven't you, read those. Do you need flushing instructions? No, I don't, personally. I, I, I mean... You maybe you've been flushing them wrong this whole time, Joe. <laughs> maybe so. There's directions. What? What? Can you read them? Can I read them? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's from the picture. Well, no, it's a, it's a picture of the front of the package. Oh well, how do you know there's instructions to because flush? Because uh, 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 if you if you're watching on YouTube, I'll I'll show you this. Um, it says right there. There's flushing instructions on the back panel. Now, Bo didn't send me a picture of the back panel, but I'm very curious what the flushing instructions are. Well, I can't wait to get home tonight, and I don't use dudes. Now, I've heard great things about who was the guy that got all those dudes? The dude wipes? Yeah. Uh, recently, Dan Orlowski. That's him, dude wipes, yeah. because he, he tooted on TV. <laughs> he, yeah, right. Tooted. <laughs> he said tooted. Well, I, I, I noticed Pat McAfee now has a package of dude wipes on his setup. Oh, yeah? Uh, on, on his show. I saw I saw that today. Well, I mean, everybody's doing it. I, again, we've had them. I've used them it's every a game now and changer. then. But... Minix, so what, what, game what, what is your what is your brand if you're not a dude wipes guy? Sam's. <laughs> Sam's. Yeah, like they're like better gen- than Costco. The the generic Sam's ones. I'm just saying they're better than the Costco brand. Really? Uh, they are, in my opinion. But I've never well, tried dudes. Well, I may need to upgrade. Hold, hold on. I, 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 what makes the Sam's ones better than the Costco ones? They're a little wetter. A little wetter, a little more, a little more moist. Uh, <laughs> it, all right, so so there is a difference in 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 comfort. And, well, I think so. I yes. mean, it's like it's like you know having oil in your car. I mean, you want things to go smooth, and if the 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 more moist the wipe is, the smoother it goes. So there's a difference. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to be dragging that thing along. Um, <clears throat> so for those of you that use a variety of wipes, so. Ryan Eagle goes with the uh, Sam's brand and not the Kirkland brand uh-huh. because they're wetter. Um, yeah, a little moister, a little more <laughs> moist. <laughs> well, Pledge uses, is this what you use, Pledge, or is this just what, what you... Uh, yeah, I pulled up the directions for, on... For the... Continental. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fresh Care Flushable Wipes. Yes. 100% flushable. But and again, according to saws, they say even those that say they're flushable, they're not. Well, maybe they're saying if they're ninety percent flushable, these are a hundred percent flushable. Well, are the ones you using a hundred percent flushable? You know, I don't know. I mean, it's a it, great question. if it's ninety percent flushable, 
how do you what do you just cut off 10 percent? throw that part away i'm not doing that either <laughs> i'm not touching that thing after that <laughs> it's going right in it just drops right in there uh huh just saying <laughs> so go ahead so according to this not flushable <laughs> paper towels facial tissue uh -huh. which are like kleenex makeup wipes baby wipes feminine products and household cleaning wipes what's really the difference between what's wiping your butt between that and a baby wipe right why why do, why are why are not all of these things flushable? What I, now people normally put like baby wipes in with the dirty diaper and throw that away. Sure. Because apparently baby wipes aren't flushable. Oh uh, yeah, well, apparently not. Kirkland flush is Kirkland Costco or Yeah, or, Kirkland Kirkland is the uh, Costco brand. I'm trying to see. I don't see the uh I don't the, the brand that I yeah, use. Yeah, trial and error. I mean, you're just going with some knockoff, man. Spend money on your butt and uh, get the dude wipes. Well, no, I've actually tried both of the uh, Sam's and Costco. And, Did you and buy them in bulk? Seriously. Well, it's Sam's and Costco. <laughs> I, well, mean, yes. I mean, th this package of extra large uh, wipes that Bola Hue uses uh, it only has 48 wipes in them. Here's the Oh, really? Well, let me see here because I finally found these. This is, uh, well, this is a big thing. I don't have 540 wipes. <laughs> Maybe. I'll have to look, but that's a different packaging. All right. But they're good. They're yeah. good. I, I, I am, I'm anxious to try the uh, dudes. Yeah, the dude wipes. The dude wipes. Yeah, you yeah. got to say it carefully. You want dude wipes. Uh, not, I want to try dudes. Because, you know, Pledge will turn that into a completely oh, it, different. It, it probably already <laughs> did. Yeah. I want the dudes. Yeah. Yeah, don't say that out loud. Okay. Not around Pledge. Um, yeah, so I, I do want to try that. And I, I see those here. Apparently they sell them at, at Sam's Club. Rudolph Gonzalez on our YouTube channel says, uh, flushing wipes is like leaving your trash in a no dump zone. Actually would rather use wipes, but I know how bad they are for our sewage system. Oh, stop it. What are you running for president of saws or what? Stop. Give me a break. Did you read the article that I sent you? I just, well, no, not really. I just, <laughs> I saw the headline. And I said, I'm not reading this. And I saw the picture of the, yeah. I guess all the wipes they're pulling out of there. Yeah. It's a problem, Joe. Well, and you're the cause. I'm the, hey, I'm the reason. You're so the if reason. I, if I stop, well, that'll solve the whole problem. I mean, you know, one wipe at a time. Let me go buy an electric car and well, that'll solve everything. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> See, no. Alexandra says her plumber says never flush wipes. They're not flushable. Get a bidet. <laughs> yeah, well, Alexandra, you know where I can get one? <laughs> Hook it up to the warm water. There is no warm water going to your there, toilet, I, sir. I, well, there has to be. Well, There's got to be a way to do that. To get warm water to your toilet. Well, yeah. I mean, right. There is no. I mean, yeah, you could probably get them to run a warm hot water line yes. to your toilet yes. but naturally it's just the cold water line there's got to be a way we live it's 2024 for goodness dude sake. i want heated floors in the house and i don't have that either well, i mean I, you could have a little cold splash of water on your butt every morning it'd be fine can you imagine no <laughs> ah. i'm gonna stick to the wipes uh, you tell your uh your plumber alexandra that well your plumber loves you for a reason well maybe yeah he hasn't been to the house lately but when he shows up, I'm just saying, and they start digging all those wipes out. That's why I mean, I don't know that this is true. I think it's, it's fake. You, you haven't lived there long enough. Well, how long you have to live there? I don't know. Long enough exactly. for them to clog up. Sounds to me like it's Saul's problem. They don't want to deal with it. So they want me to be miserable. Sure. That's it. <laughs> I just don't know how to now see a lot of people must have bidets we're getting comments on youtube now brian says you can only use cold water because well, there's no hot water line going to the toilet i know but the... i in, mean could you this, make one in this day and age there's sure. got to be a way to get it done i mean i got a friend now granted he's a home builder um he put a urinal in his bathroom yeah i've i, I know some people that have done that yeah too. yeah i mean so you can do whatever you want it's well, just right gonna cost you a lot of money to run a hot water line and so which i'd rather buy wipes they're cheap 
<clears throat> yeah. Perfect. If I ever have a clogged toilet because of the wipes, I'll let you know. You'll be the first guy I'll call. I doubt it. That's the kind of thing that will happen to you, and you never admit it to anybody, and it's a secret you take to the grave. Well, I've, I've never had an issue. Yeah, never. Never have. Never. So until then. Well, and, and you wonder if it would actually back up at your house or is it at the, like the Saul's area when they're traveling through? Because that photo that they pulled out of there, that's kind of gross. I would rather have not have seen that photo. Well, that's what I'm saying. See, they're trying to get everybody to stop using them because they don't want to work that hard. Pull all that stuff out of their thing. Well, probably. Yeah. I mean, for them to put, to put an article in the San Antonio newspaper, that must be a problem. Yeah. And it must be a lot of people like me. That's a crappy news day. It is. Yes. Well, and, you know, people know, you know, some, some, the simple pleasures in life, <laughs> flushable wipes. Joe, simple pleasures. Simple pleasures. So I got a, a knucklehead question for yeah. you. Yeah. As you think about your hot water bidet, uh huh. Is the, Wipes not kind of cold? No, they're not really cold. I mean, I, but they're, I... they're they're not warm. Like you don't warm them. No, do you? I, I don't. You don't have them don't. sitting on some sort of warmer. No. So the wipes, you know, or when I, when I've used them before, there's a little bit more. Wow, that was uh, yeah, you know. No, I've never had an issue. All right, it's it's. I'm I'm hooked now. I mean, it's I'm hooked. <laughs> You're addicted to flushable I'm wipes. Addicted to them, yes. To the fact that you even go with uh, the cheap knockoff, uh, Sam's Club, buy it in bulk. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, exactly. Then I take I pack them in the suitcase. You travel with your wife. Yes, I do. <clears throat> All the way from Temple, Texas. Uh oh. We've got a plumber calling in. Bobby, you're on the Blitz. Yes, sir. How y'all doing, Jason? Joe? Good, good, we're, Bobby. We're, we're How good, you Bobby. Doing? I just called to clarify a couple of uh, remarks about flushing wipes down the commode. Never, <laughs> ever, ever. The, micro, the microfibers that are in the wipes, they snag on the pipe and on the fittings because there's burrs and like the old cast iron pipe. It's it's porous, so it catches on that. So you never flush them. That's why the plumbers love y'all because we're out there staking out the sewer lines, making money. Uh huh. So so as a plumber, are you encouraging flushing wipes while telling us not to? Because you know that eventually Joe's going to write a plumber like you a big old check to fix his wipe problem. Uh, if I was a service plumber, I'd love them. But uh, since I'm a commercial plumber, no. All right. So let me ask you this, Bobby. Can't you guys figure out a way that the wipes don't snag on the pipes? Uh, <laughs> I'm not an engineer. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I'm just saying you can make those pipes a little smoother. Above my pay grade. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Bo Bobby. Bobby, appreciate you. <clears throat> Good Lord. You know, we give you the best information here on the Blitz. It, that's it. <laughs> that's I, so I, well, I don't necessarily know if that's true or not, as in best information, but... <laughs> You know, so Look, um, I'm sorry. And I know everybody else out there, Bo LaHue included. <laughs> we're not stopping. No, it's, no. It's, so it's, no, if it, it's just it, the way it is. I understand. I get it. As a compliment. Now, see, Pledge is getting all the uh, info here. Pledge is getting too much info from something called nice and clean wipes. And their their flushable moist wipes can be used as a complement to toilet paper. Well, of course, or as a replacement. Well, yeah, that's exactly right. A more refreshing and comfortable cleaning experience. Yes, but I mean, if if uh, you know the dude's wipes has the nice scent to them, shea butter, shea butter, shea butter smooth. It prevents chafing. Um, I'm, I don't know about all that. Um, well, <laughs> I, I it doesn't say that on the label. No. Um, and as I, as I, Bo LaHue, dude, um, as I, uh, enlarge the photo to read the uh, writing on here, uh -huh. um, that package is not clean. Shea butter smooth, shea butter, coconut and almond scented. See? Yes. You, you smell like a suntan lotion. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, CD Lamb was a no show today <laughs> at voluntary workouts with the, with the Cowboys. <laughs> Not a big deal. Uh, Justin Jefferson was a no-show. A lot of guys Michael that are Parsons in no line show. for a contract 
didn't show up today for voluntary. Not anything to freak out over, because even if he had a contract, chances are voluntary workouts, these guys aren't showing up. No, and, and a lot of guys aren't showing up to this. If you're a veteran, right? and a lot of guys aren't. So it's it's not a big deal. We, you know, we want, we want to make you think it is, but it's not. And and we all knew CD wasn't going to. Micah Parsons was here on Friday, so he's out, you know, kind of traveling a little bit. Sure. Those guys don't have to show up. And, and again, um, when you get to the mandatory ones, that's when you see statements get made. And what typically will happen there, either a hold in versus a hold out. Hold out is a no show. Hold in is I'll show up for work, but I'm not doing anything. Right. So I don't get fined. Exactly. Yeah. Or hurt. Right. Now, after the draft, in less than two weeks, by the way, um, then the rookies will show up for their deal. And then there's another one after that that a lot of guys typically show up to. Yep. So, because they got all their new teammates. Well, and, and, and also, for the guys that live in the Dallas area, this is an easy one to go to if uh -huh. you live near your city. Right. Um, but you're not traveling in for a voluntary workout. All these guys stay in shape. They work out on their right, own. Right, right, right. I mean, hell, I saw Dak was working out at SMU the other day. Yeah. Um, for a guy that has a football field in his house, but I guess because of the uh, weather they were having in Dallas, he went to an indoor facility, which you look at it and go, all right, here's a guy. He's not going to let weather affect his workout. He knows he needs to get his workouts in, and and all these guys are doing it. Um regardless of whether they're showing up to the team facility or not. Well, I mean, I find it interesting, though, and maybe a team that, I'm not saying more excited about the season, C.J. Stroud was there. Who else? Everybody was there, right, Pledge? At Houston's voluntary minicamp today. Yep. They're uh, dedicated. Oh, is that what it is? Dedicated, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Those Texans. Yeah. Well, CJ's been working out with Stefan since Stefan became a Texan. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think even Stefan was there today, was he? I don't know if he was or not. Well, then how can you tell me everybody showed up and then you're not really sure if Diggs was there? Well, CJ Stroud was there. That's oh. really all that matters. Oh, okay. Was Dak at Cowboys? I have no idea. Yeah. No idea. Well, he should have been if he's a leader. I'm sure he was. Uh-huh. He lives there. He lives there. <laughs> you know. At the Star? Pretty much. He's got a new kid. He might not have been there. Oh, he might I been. love you, Dak. Look, Plus I some baby have, wipes or something. I, I would give Dak the benefit of the doubt and say, go play with your kid. Yeah. Oh, the kid doesn't know what the hell it's doing right now anyway. Not yet. Right? Not yet. Wow. Not yet. It is the Blitz here on <laughs> 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Guys, if you're dealing with a lack of energy, motivation, maybe low libido, those could all be symptoms caused by low T levels. At Synergenics, their medical providers exclusively specialize in customized testosterone treatment, and they make it quick and easy to get your levels checked. At Synergenics, you will get your results back at your first visit. So book that appointment now at fixmylowt.com. Your testosterone levels start to decline in your 30s. So if you've got that lack of energy and drive, go get your levels tested at Synergenics, and then you will get a customized care from testosterone specialists if your numbers aren't where they need to be, if, uh, you know, you go over there and you get tested and, you know, anywhere from 350 to 1,000 is normal. And if you're below 350, then you figure out what plan you need to get on. That's what you're going to get when you go over to Synergenics. They've got a, a number of locations across town. If you're trying to get that energy back and be like what you used to be, go to Synergenics and get tested. That's the first step. Book that appointment now at FixMyLowT.com. That's FixMyLowT.com. Writing 410 with the Blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM, Floresville, and everywhere at SASportsStar.com. Everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Need a new dentist? Hi, Jason Minix here. Go see my dentist at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Smile Structure.
doctor can handle all your dentistry needs from general dentistry to oral surgery, orthodontics for the kids or Invisalign for adults. Mention this ad, get a free exam and x-rays. Better owned with five San Antonio area locations. Learn more and book an appointment online at smilestructure.com. That's smilestructure.com. Hey, poker players, the Big Blind is open with a true Vegas feel. The Big Blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio, featuring an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. Whether you are seeking high-octane tournaments or lively cash games, the Big Blind has a game for everyone. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road, just down from the Roo Pub, offers daily cash games to daily, weekly, and monthly tournaments. Learn more online at TheBigBlindSA.com. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road. If you love to travel, Capital One has a rewards credit card that's perfect for you. With Venture X, earn unlimited double miles on everything you buy and turn everyday purchases into extraordinary trips. Plus, receive premium travel benefits like access to over 1,300 airport lounges where you just check in and chill out. Open up a world of possibilities with Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. Lounge access is subject to change. See CapitalOne.com for details. As a roofer, spring means the start of my busy season, which means I've got to get organized with help from Beacon. I can save time with Beacon Pro Plus and 24-7 access to live pricing, delivery tracking, order history, and more. Plus, this spring, I can earn $1,000 and the chance to win a $25,000 backyard renovation just by buying my certain teen shingles online with Beacon. No purchase necessary. Now that's what I call a spring cleanup. Visit BECN.com for official rules and to start earning entries. Gomez Law Firm has been taking care of the people of San Antonio for almost 50 years, the leader in personal injury law. Jose, tell us a little bit more about what you do. We do ride-sharing cases, 18-wheeler cases. Obviously, we've done those for very many years. Work injuries. We will be happy to take a look at and see if we can help. If you have been injured in an accident or hit by a company vehicle, then you need to visit JoeGomezLaw.com. We've been around for almost 50 years, and we're not going anywhere. Call the Gomez Law Firm at 736-4040. Jason Minnix here from the Blitz with the NBA playoffs here. You want to get in on the action and have fun watching the games the way I do? Make sure you download the Underdog Fantasy app and start playing their pick em game, where you pick between two and five players to build a pick em entry, select higher or lower on player stats. If your picks hit, you could win up to 100 times your money. Endless projections to choose from. You create your own experience. It's a ton of fun to play. I love winning. Winning on the Pick'em game, obviously, it is fantasy, but legal in Texas. So get signed up at underdogfantasy.com or download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use my promo code STAR when you sign up, and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, they'll give you a mystery special pick to use on your first Pick'em entry. Must be over 18 and present in a state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Again, promo code STAR when you sign up at underdogfantasy.com. The NFL is on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Well, the season is over for the San Antonio Spurs. They end their season on a high note, however. A two-game winning streak beating the Nuggets and the Pistons also won four of their last six down the stretch. NBA playoffs are set. Uh, the West play-in begins tomorrow night. That's going to be fun. It features the Pelicans versus the Lakers, Kings versus Warriors. In the East, well, the play-in is Philly versus Miami, Chicago against Atlanta. Joe Reinagle. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minnix. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Lennox. Glad to have you along on this Monday afternoon. Absolutely. Hope you had a great weekend. Absolutely. And and, and again, gorgeous weekend. Yes. Got to, you know, it was weird. It was one of those weekends I wanted to be outside yet. I went to the Brahmas game yesterday. It's indoors and yeah, yeah. 72 degrees. Watched a lot of Masters mm-hmm. on Saturday yes, and yes. Sunday morning. Good I did too. It was great. I didn't like what I saw, but it was good. Tiger Woods, oh. 82, 77. 
Don't lie. No, it was it, 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 tough. Tough in that standpoint. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, and again, I mean, the, the fact that the guy's even playing the way that he's playing right now is incredible with everything he's been through uh, with the car accident and, and all the other stuff that, that we know about. It's just, it's unbelievable. But at some point in time, if your body can't do what it used to do, I don't want to see Tiger shoot 82. So is it time for Tiger to retire? I, yes, I think it is. I think it is. Look, you just, he's a great ambassador for the game. Yeah. But I don't want to see Tiger shoot 82. You know, it, it, it's so interesting because you're right. We talk about it all the time with other pro athletes, although they are all in team sports. Right. Um, that it's time to go. You know, very few walk away on top. Very few walk away with a lot of game left. I, I remember, you know, Dat Wynn, who used to sit in that chair, mm -hmm. said that he knew it was time to go when he couldn't get from point A to point B as fast as he thought sure. he could. Yeah. And he did not want to disrespect the game by hanging on, knowing that he couldn't do it at the level of which met his standard. Uh -huh. He could have stayed. He could have had a job. But his standard was to a point where I can't do it to my satisfaction, I'm done. We see a lot of other players, man, you play until they rip the jersey off of you. Yeah. For Tiger, I, I always thought that he would be more like that, that when his game wasn't to his standard, he would stop playing. And it turns out, well, if they're going to keep paying me to show up, I'm going to keep showing up. Because somewhere in the back of your mind, as a golfer, do you think he feels like, I can still do this, even though he can't do it at the level that we're used to, that he is used to? Well, I mean, he said as much, right, before that if everything falls right, you know, I could I could get another one. Um, and it did, and he played well for two days. And a very difficult Friday at the Masters with the way the wind was blowing. He made the cut for the 24th consecutive time. That's incredible. But then it just seems like, and I can't say that Tiger wasn't motivated because he's always motivated. But something happened on Saturday. Uh, he was hurting, didn't feel well. I, I don't know what it is. But for Tiger to shoot 82, I mean, that's unheard of. And and then follow that up with a 77, finishes dead last of the people that, that made the cut. And that Tiger, that can't be sitting well with him. It can't be. Maybe he can do it for two days, but for four days, it's tough. You go to the senior tour in a couple of years you can ride a golf cart uh it's only 54 holes you know that's a, a, a little bit different ball game and tiger will will be back with and i hate to say it they're still a senior tour yeah i believe there is <laughs> <laughs> i think so yes I, I, there I mean, is ever since it left san antonio uh -huh. i mean because it doesn't get the tv coverage no it doesn't although if tiger were to join the senior tour absolutely you wonder how much that would change the yeah, game yeah and he would still show up for majors but tiger woods i don't know man i i'm mixed i agree with you watching tiger yesterday you felt bad for Tiger. Absolutely. But I watched every bit of that. And in fact, we went to the Brahmas game and I told my wife we'd probably leave about 1130 to go down there and tailgate. Kickoff was at two. And I couldn't stop watching Tiger. As bad as it was, I'm watching on the feature group with Tiger and we didn't leave until he finished his round. I, I was like, I, I can't turn this off. You know, my wife's looking at me. Are we leaving? Yeah, in a little bit. In a little bit. It was like 1245. We got to the dome, no tailgating, just just str straight in, right in. To, to the game. Because I, I had to watch Tiger. I felt that even though it wasn't great golf. So I'm mixed. I'm with you. I agree. He should probably stop playing. But I can't stop watching. Well, and, and most people are that way. And we, we've joked about it. The fact that he made the cut, CBS was thrilled. Although it didn't really affect CBS and yesterday. Not at all. Because he wasn't. And he on, was on done the before the exactly. CBS broadcast started. So look, everybody wants to see him because we remember the magic. You know, I I was I grew up a huge Jack Nicholas fan, and it was the same with him. I mean, as he got older and couldn't do it, but Jack knew it and he stopped. He did. Uh, Jack was not the type of player that was going to play subpar golf. He won his last Masters when he was forty six years old. 
And that's incredible. And I think Tiger would like to do something like that. But Jack didn't have the the stuff that affected his body the way that Tiger is. Look, let's face it, and this is a hard truth. Tiger's lucky to be alive. True. After that uh, automobile accident. And the fact that he, that man can still play golf the way that he does is incredible. And I love it. And I, I, I love Tiger. I think it's great. But I don't want to see the greatness turn into 82 uh, on, on a Saturday afternoon. When I, I guess I mean, he's 48, he'll be 49 in December. I was impressed that a, he made the cut Yeah, and he made it through all four rounds mm -hmm. and it would have been easy for him on Saturday when he shot the worst round that he's ever shot at the masters to, to pull out with mm -hmm. injury. Yeah. My back. Hurt. He, yeah. Something. He, he looked like his back hurt, mm -hmm. but when you see other guys that are plus nine, that you know, are better golfers than that. He had just chalk it up to a bad day. In other words, if you're Tiger, the fact that he finished, he started, he made the cut, he finished. He hasn't played a lot of competitive golf. He hasn't. What does he learn from that on how to get his body ready? And could he be better at the PGA? Could he be better? At, and, and again, we're ready to write him off. You can't do that. He might be thinking, this is the motivation I need because I was able to finish this one. The last time, he didn't get through two rounds in his last event. So in other words, could he be building up for a return that is close to what we are expecting for a Tiger in competitive situations where he would have a chance to win again? I, you know, I just look at it like this. I mean, you get to a certain age, your mind tells you you can still do the things you did 20 years ago, and your body says, mm, nah, you can't. And and look for Tiger's in great shape. I mean, obviously you see him out there walking around. He he still it looks lifting weights. He's still you know keeping his body in shape. The fact is though that he's just been through so much that it, his body just doesn't work the way that it used to work. And uh, I, look, I'd love to see Tiger. And and we're we're going to see him. I mean, it's it's he's not going to ride off into no, the sunset. No, he's going to play the majors. Uh, absolutely, and that's great. And if that's what he wants to do, and he feels comfortable enough doing it, I just don't want to see Tiger just show up and shoot 82. I mean, I, if he's going to be competitive, which he was the first two days, and maybe that's the, 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 the line that he crossed, the two days were fine. And then the third and fourth, that was just too much of a toll. As much as Tiger respects the game and the history of the game, do you think he would stop because he's taking the spot of somebody else? In, in other words, when you know you don't have a chance to win or be competitive, and to a degree, I don't want to say embarrass yourself because there are other guys that had worse weekends there at the Masters, but sure. by Tiger standards, that was embarrassing. Is he taking the spot of another player in, the, in, in, the, in a tournament like that? Well, and you wonder if that would factor on Tiger's decision to play or not play. I, you know, I don't know. and I don't think so because Tiger's still Tiger. And if he's there, he's a draw. And well, it, that's it. Golf needs Tiger sure. and the TV networks need Tiger. Well, absolutely. And especially with the, the chaos that, you know, professionals go, uh, golf is under right now. And, and Max Homa, who was competitive yesterday, I think he ended up finishing third, third or fourth, but he played with Tiger on Saturday. And even though Tiger played poorly at shot 82, he said, "Man, I was I was a fanboy. I you know I'd look over there at the other uh, side of the fairway, and it was just like I, I I forgot I was playing. I'm watching Tiger Woods, the amateur he played with yesterday. Same thing. What a thrill for that kid! Oh man, to, to be able to play with Tiger Woods. So in that respect, look, Tiger's a legend, and he will always be that. I just don't want to talk about Tiger Woods. And man, did you see the guy 82 today?" Uh, that's sad. Yeah, I don't want to see that. But I'm not ready to see Tiger doing the ceremonial tee off on Thursday well, morning no, with no. the other old guys he, he's either. Got, he's got a ways to go before that happens. But you know, I, at some point you got to realize you just can't do what you used to do, and that, that's unfortunate. But hey, Father Time's undefeated. All right, so <laughs> you were ready to see Tiger retire. But are we ready to see Tiger just be out there and not be the Tiger we expect him to? See, that's the thing. I don't want to see that, me personally. Right. I don't want to see Tiger shoot 82, finish dead last 
uh, which look, a lot of other guys didn't spend the weekend. And, and in that respect, you got to give him a lot of respect, but he finished dead last of the 60 guys that made the cut, including that amateur. And that I, amateur kicked his ass yesterday. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. You see Scotty Scheffler, who's at the top of his game. And obviously, what is Scheffler, 26, 27 yeah. years old? And I mean, right. But this guy is, he's at the top of his, he's Tiger Woods. He's playing like Tiger Woods used to play. Um, and he might be the guy. Maybe. That carries that mantle. We thought it was going to be Rory. We thought it was going to be Jordan. We thought it was, maybe it is Scotty Scheffler that becomes that dominant player. It's Scotty against the field. Well, right now, there's nobody playing anywhere close to Scotty Scheffler. I can't yeah, imagine he's, he's... Scotty Scheffler playing as well as he did, as focused as he was, with the idea that he might get word at any moment, dude, you got to go, man. Wife went in the labor. To have that kind of concentration and still pull off that, that round. His post... uh tournament press conferences that guy did not want to be there man i just want to go home well um, let me let me just say something and i'm a little bit irritated with scotty Sheffield. here we go because he made it sound like the wife was about to pop at any minute she's three weeks out from the due date i mean it's not like i learned that over the weekend i said wait a minute three weeks yeah dude it could happen well it could happen it could happen but i'm like come on he made it sound like this was about to happen any minute. Well, that's, that's true. That's why I didn't know. Uh, Three weeks out. Scotty Scheffler is my guy because I didn't think he would make the weekend the way he was talking. We got a picture of Scotty Scheffler here at a at a tavern in Dallas. Yeah. After getting home, and he's uh, he's living it up. Absolutely. And that was the other fallacy or or legend. Yeah. I had always heard that the, the you don't take the jacket home with you. But apparently you do. No, no, you, you you only keep it for a year. Is what I learned over the weekend. Is it only one jacket? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, they've got more than one, but you keep it a year. All right. And then then you. But I I'd guess, be wearing that thing to H E B everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, dude. Well, he didn't take it off. I mean, he's at a bar taking a picture, and that's the shirt that he was wearing yesterday at the tournament. What a great picture. I mean, could you imagine that? For those two guys, uh, honey, you're you're uh, you can't join me for a drink because you're about to have a baby. But uh, yeah, I'll be home in a little while. He did say it was the first tournament his wife hadn't been with him, and he had to cook his own breakfast. Huh. Poor guy. Wow. He couldn't fly in a chef? I mean. I'm sure he could. He, I mean, that dude's loaded. He's, uh, he's, he, look, he's on another he's planet a Dallas right Dallas guy. He went to the same high school as Clayton Kershaw and, uh -huh. um, why did I just draw a blank? Matt Stafford. Yeah. That's pretty good talent. Yeah. 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 All the way around. Yeah. <laughs> high end rich rich kid high yeah, school. yeah yeah yep, yeah yeah no wonder he's good at golf playing well the uh spurs they wrap up the season yesterday the playoffs begin tomorrow of course without the spurs let's talk about the play in not play off the play in at tournament games coming up tomorrow why bobon is a national treasure that coming up here on the blitz on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Well, we've already had some of those spring storms, and you know some others are coming. It just happens here in South Texas. And look, you want to make sure that your roof is ready for that. Or we had some hail the other day. If you think maybe you had some damage, you just want to get it checked out. And the best company to call to do that is Stevens Roofing. Because, look, there's only one name in roofing that stands high above the rest, and that is Stevens Roofing. Stevens Roofing, a quality roof overhead means comfort. It means confidence. It certainly means peace of mind. Uh, protection for all of those things that you love. If you're in the market for repairs, you need a replacement roof, an upgrade, or you just need an inspection to make sure that your roof is okay. You want to call the team that brings local roots, value, and a vast knowledge of their craft to every job. That is Stevens Roofing. Been in business for a long, long time. They're not going anywhere. That means they stand behind their work. And they do quality work. It is incredible. Stevens Roofing. Let them check your roof out to make sure it's okay. Give them a call. 210-785-0994. You can also get them online at stevensroofing.net. But call them. 210-785-0994. It's the 2024 NFL Draft on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. We're the 24th pick. The Dallas Cowboys select April 25th, 26th, and 27th. Join 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star for this year's NFL Draft, live from Detroit. I love the tenacity and the aggression with which he plays. He is a mauler. Who do the Cowboys and Texans pick? Does Jerry make a splash? Who goes number one? 
And who's the next Mr. Irrelevant? The Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud. I don't ever want to pass on the guy you ought to be taking, David. Still, be position slip. I thought Sauce Gardner would be the first corner, but you go back to 2019, and that version of Derek Stingley is as good as anybody in this entire draft class. Find out right here on your exclusive home for the NFL Draft. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. Dave Ramsey here. The only water softener I recommend is a quality water softener from Connecticut. It really is the last water softener you'll ever own. ConnecticutSA.com And tell them Dave Ramsey sent you. Check engine light on? Take the guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly Veriscan. It's free. Ask for O'Reilly Veriscan today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Around here at Wrangler, we are all excited for spring. The longer days, the warmer nights. When you've got your pick of shorts and jeans, either works just fine. Blue skies, open roads. Wrangler, for the ride of life. Feel that heat? That's how it should feel when you're outdoors watching your favorite team coming up to bat, not in your home. Call Maverick Windows at 800-972-3631. That's 800-972-3631. And get a free quote for new energy-efficient windows. Thanks for calling Discover. This is Gabby. Hey, Gabby. It's Jennifer Coolidge. Hi. Um, I'm so glad I reached you at 2 a.m. Oh, of course. Anyone with a Discover card can call and talk to a real person 24-7. Now, how can I help? Yeah, I used my Discover card to buy these yellow pleather pajamas, and I'm just not sure I'm pulling them off. 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. It pays to Discover. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. The Angie's List You Know and Trust is now Angie, and we're so much more than just a list. We still connect you with top local pros and show you ratings and reviews, but now we also let you compare upfront prices on hundreds of projects and book a service instantly. We can even handle the rest of your project from start to finish. So remember, Angie's List is now Angie, and we're here to get your job done right. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I, or download the app today. Nigel. What's up with your hair? Joel, prices are insane these days. I'm cutting my own hair. Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news. For a limited time, all quarter moon 14 seer AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change and say, bless your heart. Quarter moon plumbing, heat, and AC. 210-651-5899. License number M160004. DACLA 0074345E. It's the morning huddle with Rob Thompson and RJ O. Tuesday on the morning huddle, we're getting you ready for the NBA and NHL playoffs. Plus, the NFL draft starts next week. It truly is the sportsiest time of the year. But back to the blitz. Jason Joe, earlier today, Rob told me he had hung pigeon or something in Great Britain. Have you guys ever heard of this? Had what? Hung pigeon? (laughs) Hung pigeon. I've never heard of that. I don't think that's what Rob had. I I know Rob well enough to know that he will try something exotic on a menu. Yeah. Hung pigeon (laughs) would not be one of them. Now, define hung chicken. Is that a a, a pigeon? I I don't think that it would have. uh, No, I have no idea. But Pledge, did you listen to their show this morning while you were working out? I didn't hear this part of the morning huddle this morning while. While I was tuned in. So I don't know what they're uh, speaking of. Hung chicken. I, I don't know. Hung pigeon. Oh, pigeon. Hung pigeon. But Rob does like. To answer your question, RJ, no. And if I saw something like that on the menu, I wouldn't, I, eat, I, it. I wouldn't eat it. I don't care what kind of pigeon it is. There is that that um, restaurant down in the Pearl. Cured, right? I think that's what it is. Yeah. Where you walk in and they've got all the meat that's stuff. I don't, I don't even necessarily want to see that. 
uh, I don't mind picking out my own steak and from a meat counter. Right, right. I don't need to see everything before it ends up on my plate. No, I, I really don't. I mean, I don't mind, you know, picking out my own lobster or doing something like that. Right. But, you know, uh, in hung pigeon, hung, pe- you know, I could see Rob doing something. If, if RJ said pigeon, I could see him going for like some pheasant and ordering that and being very surprised by what actually ends up on his plate. I could see Rob Thompson doing that. Pheasant, not pigeon. Sure. But if that's pigeon, what it was. Pigeon's not exactly. Nobody eats pigeon. Nobody eats that. Nobody eats pigeon. So I, I Googled hung pigeon. <laughs> oh, good Lord. And I'm, I'm seeing pigeons hanging themselves. How do I, I guess this is. Wait a, a minute. Suicidal pigeons? Yes. You're kidding. It must be rough out there in the pigeon world. Holy cow. Uh, that guy's got my corner now. I'm guess. out. No, it says and, and right here, a pigeon hung itself at our school today. Well, like he flew into a wire and that was it? Well, it looks like he actually hung himself. I mean, there's he a, got twisted up. I, I, don't, I don't think that was on purpose. I'm not sure if that's a pigeon or a crow. Anyway, well, there's a it's, clear it's, difference. Well, I mean, it's a it's a is cre- hung pheasant a thing? It's a creepy looking. Like, will you picture. Google if is if hung pheasant is a thing? Because that's the only other bird that I can think of that you would think of that's eatable, edible, that would find its way to an exotic menu. See, hung is not how I'm spelling it. It's got to be something else. Is that like there's a, only one way to spell hung? Sir. I know, but isn't there like a like? An, and I don't know any pigeons that are hung. Isn't there like an Asian dish that is pronounced hung, but it's not spelled hung? Uh, maybe. I'm thinking there is. <laughs> maybe. Wow. Do pigeons have gizzards? <laughs> <laughs> On Look. hanging pheasants. See, now I could see Rob doing that. But what, I don't understand. So they're just there waiting to get cooked. So they're hung waiting to get cooked. Well, maybe, I mean, that's how, that's like, if you, if you go kill an animal and, and then part of the, depending on where you're at, you know, like when I go hunting, you know, they, they, they hang whatever animal is in a freezer, right? That's, that's kind of what I'm seeing here with these, these birds. I just don't know. I mean, pledge that is in a restaurant. Is there a restaurant that serves hung pheasant? I know you're looking at me like you're saying you don't know. That's what the Google box is for. I mean, no, I'm saying the Google box when I type in hung pheasant, this is the closest thing. There's no actual. Well, Google hung pheasant menu item in Spain. I don't know. Do it. Anybody that was listening to the morning huddle this morning can clarify what Rob was because. Rob does order a lot of times something very exotic. Yeah, if he sees yeah. it on the menu, Rob will try it. Rob is an adventurous eater. See a gizzard? I, I would say probably. He's a great Texan. I'm sure he is. That has nothing have, to do I, with that. I have no idea. But R- Rob has some weird food allergies too. <laughs> right? <laughs> he does. Well, he can't eat like avocados. He can't eat anything citrusy. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, but I, you know, like Rob loves Andrew Zimmer, right? The the chef, and we see him every year uh-huh. at at the Super Bowl. Um, and literally, I think we were in Miami, maybe Minnesota. I don't remember. But we start this interview, and Rob takes it over. I leave. I had to pee. I went to the bathroom. I came back. <laughs> they were still going. Um, this year, I don't think RJ even showed up. He's like, I won't get a word in as no. wise. This, this is all you, Rob. Let him have and, it. And, and Andrew did that show, Exotic Foods or whatever. And, and so I could see Rob eating hung pigeon or pheasant or whatever is on the menu. <laughs> where RJ Ocho was like a five-year-old eater. So well, I I don't know, but I'm gonna agree with RJ. I'm not eating pigeon of any kind, whether it's hung or standing or sitting. I don't care. I'm not eating that. I thing. mean, now if you were doing a Cornish game hen and you didn't know <laughs> if somebody served it to you Cornish game hen style and didn't tell you it was pigeon and not little baby chickens, because you know if if they put baby chicken on the labeling, well, nobody know the would eat it, wouldn't you? Well, I mean, it depends on how it was prepared. Oh my! Gosh. I mean, if they said here we're having some some bird and you didn't ask specifically what. You'd probably enjoy the pigeon. That brings back memories. 
memories uh, memories of yeah well my childhood uh oh my you've had pigeon before huh my stepmother no i've had cornish hen though uh, uh-huh cornish game hen they're yeah. wonderful so she made this thought it was all great with stuffing and yeah stuffing was coming out there yeah <laughs> so she brings that over the table all proud and my dad go ah oh, those pig- those <laughs> hens look like they're pooping <laughs> well, i mean yeah that's what happened i'm just saying presentation is everything i know but it, i don't think she thought that was funny <laughs> well because she worked hard she were did. they were they good it was delicious if i remember correctly yes you don't do game hens very often i haven't done that in a long time Dude, do some uh cornish game hens on your traeger yeah oh they're fantastic yeah do you put the stuffing in sure first uh, yes and then they poop it out they poop i it mean out. That, that, that's what happened <laughs> Cornish game hands are wonderful. Uh huh. They they really are. No, they're great. Yeah, not I'm not you disputing see, that. I, I mean, I, I just you know, I I just think whoever came up with the name was perfect. Cornish game hands. Cornish game. Hens. Well, again, if you saw the package that said baby chicken, would you eat it? No, probably not. But they're baby chickens. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But they're they're they are wonderful. I mean, there's a lot of things that if you knew exactly what it was, you might not eat it. Like gizzards. <laughs> I guarantee I'll never eat another gizzard in my whole life. Dude, you guys have to go watch the video of Joe Reinagle. Yeah. Eating gizzards. Yes. You can find that video on the San Antonio Sports Star social channels. Yes, you can. There is, and I didn't notice this, but my daughter did. <laughs> The face that Ryan Eagle makes when it finally hits the taste buds, because you are apparently in this video. And, and again, go watch this video. Ugh. There is a point where Joe's like, I, I, oh, what is in my mouth? Yeah, dude, it was awful. <laughs> I didn't notice that. It, right? was, it was from it was my awful. kid. Yeah. Well, she probably doesn't like gizzards either. No. No. No, she's not eating Nobody gizzards. likes gizzards. Well. I wouldn't say nobody. Well, there are a lot of people buying gizzards right apparently now. Apparently so. Yeah. Hey, Tony, you were listening to the morning huddle this morning. Tell us exactly what Rob said. He said well, they were talking about the nastiest food they ever ate. And yeah, he said they had some hung feathers. And RJ looked at him like, really? And he goes, no, not that kind of hung. It was hung. They hung it by the neck. Until right, so the, so until it was pheasant, not pigeon. Off. It's pheasant. Dude, I'm until proud of myself for off. coming up with that. But But go ahead. So Rob didn't enjoy the hung pheasant? No. I mean, who would? It, you, it hangs there until the head completely rots off, and then you eat it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> really? That's what? what he said. That's what he said. He Hold said on. it hangs until the head rots off from the body, and the body drops, and, it's, and you're good to go. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Most disgusting yeah. things ever ate. Hold on, Tony. And, and uh, Pledge, see if you can find this so we can listen to the segment from this morning. So he ordered this at a restaurant. So they bring I, it out, and then you wait for it to drop on your plate. I mean, how many hours no, are you sitting no, at just, the restaurant? No, it, it, I guess it, it's, it, they hang it prior to getting there. But you just—that's when you know it's ready to eat when it drops from its head. Whoa! So that's when they cook that's it. Gotta it's be already, It's already dropped. I don't even really know if you cook it. Huh? When, when you well, order, I, it. I, I yeah, I'm thinking if you wait till it's ready to eat when it drops, because otherwise you don't have to wait for the head well, to fall still off. Still got feathers all over it. You're not gonna. <laughs> comb through all of that stuff <laughs> and you might he didn't say, I mean, he, he, didn't say he, took, he said that when it rots when it rots away from its head when it drops away when it rots Dude, that's I, nasty. rob i love you buddy but man <laughs> well i'm glad you you clarified they were talking about the yeah. nastiest foods yeah. they've eaten because that I listen sounds, to y'all every day. That sounds disgusting. And a, a hung pheasant. Appreciate you <laughs> listening to the station. Of, uh, <laughs> <I'm going. laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, not that kind of Tony, hung. appreciate you, man, listening all day, every day. That's awesome. <clears throat> wow. That's disgusting to even think about. <laughs> that It's terrible. <laughs> Who the hell eats that? <laughs> They're selling it in a restaurant. Probably charging a premium for it. Man, I'm sorry. I just oh. hung pheasant. <laughs> I don't. I don't need to know more. I don't need to know more. Wow. Let's talk something um, not food related. <laughs> Actually, let's stay with a uh, a food related. I know we're late for the break pledge, but uh, Boban yesterday proved he is a man of the people. Yes. Not hung pheasant. He got everybody free chicken.
Fans are getting excited here. There might potentially be some free chicken on the board if he misses the second free throw. Oh man, free chicken on the board. Yeah, so that's why the fans are getting a little, little frothy. Oh, they're pointing to anything. And Here's your job. Oh, he gave him chicken. He's a man of the people. He's a man of the people. He did that on purpose. He did. He gave out free chicken. This is the Clippers broadcast last night. The Rockets were winning the game. That game was well in hand. And they've got a promotion in L.A. Brick it for chicken or something of that nature. And everybody, if you if uh, the opponent misses two free throws in a row, everybody gets a free Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Nice. So Bobo missed the first one. And the crowd's going nuts. He started playing to the crowd. And then missed the second free throw to get everybody free chicken on I the last day of the great. season that's just bobon he's a good dude great guy great guy by the way just you hang a pheasant for three days and the head falls off in three keeps, days keeps the blood inside the carcass oh yeah so the the it doesn't dry out well that would make sense and then you cook it yeah yeah how do you cook it well i'm, I'm still looking at that I mean, is there some recipes? Yeah, apparently. I mean, do you smoke it? Do you fry it? Well, boil um, it? You take the feathers off first. <laughs> well, duh. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, yes, you're going to skin it. Oh, my gosh. Dude, this is like. <laughs> Read to us, Joe. Well, no, it's a it's a YouTube video, and they got a couple of <laughs> oh. headless pheasants just sitting there, and like, and they're about to cook them. Yeah. So, yeah, they got all the feathers off, and it's kind of like a Cornish hen. They wrapped up the legs. And, yeah. Uh, it looks like he's going to put it on like a Traeger or some kind of barbecue pit. Yeah. The season it up good. But dude, they do. They have two pheasants laying there headless. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I don't want to see that. You, you realize your Cornish game head at one point did have a head. Well, I don't want to see it. <laughs> it's like serving that pig with the head on it. I don't want to see that. Whole hog barbecue, man. No. I, it yeah, just, you're just sitting out there all pretty with an apple in its mouth. Slice me off a couple of slices of ham, and I'm good to go. that pulled pork you were eating yesterday? Yeah. At one I, point, it had a head. Well, it didn't yesterday. So I, just, I don't have to look you at just it. Just go over there and go to, go, you know, take some tongs, go to the innards, and pull your pork. Well, that's fine. As long as it hits. Yeah, the pig's looking at you. Yeah. It's like, dude. Well, the pig's really not looking at well, you unless you've got incredible reach. <laughs> well, I, I've been told I do. <laughs> I, I, why am I watching this still? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, pheasant for dinner at the Ryan Eagles. Whew, no. Where money. do you buy pheasant? You don't. You shoot it, right? Do you buy pheasant somewhere? Well, I'm sure you can. At a fancy restaurant, perhaps. Sure. I Here. shot pheasant. I'm getting the chicken fried steak. <laughs> no head. <laughs> uh, so you don't want the chicken head on your chicken fried dude, steak? I, I was hungry a minute ago. We start talking about hanging pigeons and pheasants with no head. Man, I'm sorry, everybody. If you're about to have dinner, <laughs> Joe didn't get it. Like just losing his mind. I, I did. I guess not. What? What'd you say? You want the chicken fried steak with no chicken at? No, <laughs> I don't. Or a cow head, or whatever the hell's on there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when like yeah, right over your head. Yeah. Took a second. Your bird brain. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Jessica Simpson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's chicken fried. Well, is it at some point you got to have a conversation with them? Uh huh. <laughs> Four hours every day. Yeah. That's what I deal with. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. I think. <laughs> <coughs> Holy cow. Let's talk Wemby coming up. Yeah, please. <laughs> Dude. We're way late. We're really late. We really are. Boss is like steaming right oh, now. Well, he's trying to figure out how you're talking about a chicken fried steak with a chicken head. Well, it went right over my head. It's like, what the hell? Chicken fried. Yeah. <laughs> went right over my chicken head. <laughs> Bird brain. <laughs> <sighs>
You know, injuries do happen. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> they sure do. I'm trying to be a professional. <laughs> but if you're dealing with any kind of injuries, you know you can skip the ER and get straight to an OrthoNow Injury Clinic by TSAOG Orthopedics and Spine. OrthoNow provides walk-in care for injuries <coughs> like <coughs> bad coughs. <coughs> I'm kidding. Broken bones, dislocations, spray <coughs> strains. Conveniently located in the Cory area with extended hours Monday through Saturday. They have on-site x-ray casting and bracing. Ortho now has everything you need to treat your injury, but best of all, uh, no urgent care or emergency room copay. So if you're injured, get to an ortho now <laughs> injury clinic. Learn more online at TSAOG.com. We all expect our home to protect everything we love. But we don't expect that water is the reason parts of our concrete have gotten so uneven. Walkway tripping hazards, sinking pool deck, cracked driveways are dangerous threats to everyone's safety. But there's one way to learn how your concrete can be lifted. A free home inspection from Foundation Support Specialists. They'll restore your concrete and give you peace of mind. Get your free inspection at foundationsupportspecialists.com. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. Family Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. It's time to get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data, and you get to choose who joins your family plan starting as low as $25 a line. Does it have to be family? It can be family or people you like. Get more lines and more savings. Switch to Straight Talk for family plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Family plan discount with four lines all on the Silver Unlimited plan. Taxes and visa. Step up your lunch game at Twin Peaks. We have the light and hearty combos put together for you starting at just $7.99. Featuring savory soups, crisp salad, and a variety of sandwiches and so much more to satisfy every craving. With four San Antonio area locations, enjoy your next lunch break at Twin Peaks. And Twin Peaks is hiring. Have a ton of fun and make great money. Currently looking for Twin Peaks girls, cooks, busters, barbacks, and more. Text work the number four TP to 85000 to apply. Twin Peaks eats, drinks, and oh, those scenic views. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. Are you one of the nearly 10 million families that own a timeshare? Unfortunately, many families stuck in timeshares have learned the dark side of ownership as their timeshare ends up being nothing like they were promised. I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. If you were lied to when buying a timeshare, you're going to need help. I know this because I once worked as a timeshare salesman, but quit the business and made it my personal mission to help folks get rid of bad timeshares. That's why I put together a timeshare exit information kit to help you understand how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Over 30,000 families have trusted us to get rid of their timeshares. Many started out by simply calling us for the free information kit and are now timeshare free. To get your free information kit, call Wesley Financial now. Call 800-837-1919. That's 800-837-1919. 800-837-1919. Are you ready to party with a purpose? Pays to the North Side is Thursday, April 18th at the beautiful Security Service Event Center. This elevated Fiesta event for foodies includes on-site cover parking, entertainment, unlimited tastings from over 30 premier restaurants, countless curated wines and craft beers, hosted by Brighton Center, presented by HEB. Purchase tickets at tasteofthenorthside.org. Proceeds benefit Brighton Center, the largest nonprofit in San Antonio serving children with disabilities through pediatric therapy and education initiatives. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. This is Jim Rome. Join me weekdays at noon on my new home, 941 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 941 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Ryan Angle. I'm Jason Minix. You just heard the commercial for Taste of the North Side. Yeah. The Blitz will be live at Taste of the North Side on Thursday. 
So if you've uh, got your tickets, cool, come by and see us, although get there uh, early. Um, if you don't have tickets, you can get them, tasteofthenorthside.org or brightonsa.org, promo code STAR, and you'll save $25 a ticket. That's the best Fiesta event there is, and it's for a great cause. Um, like an all-inclusive resort. Yep. Pay one price, and then you eat and drink to your heart's content. Yep. You don't reach for your wallet again. No, not That's again. The the best part of and the food is taste good. Of the north side, absolutely, it's good, good stuff. Yeah. And you know what you and we haven't for the last several years, but you know, in years past, you'd go to taste of the north side and hope that mm, the Spurs weren't playing a home playoff game that <laughs> night. Or a road playoff game, for that matter. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. Spurs season is officially in the books. The They finished the season strong. And I know it's cliche to say, but a nice peak maybe into next year. But I don't know who's going to be back next year. That's I, it. I, I mean, we know Wemby will. And you could make the case that half this roster probably needs to turn over. 75% of this roster might need to turn over. I have no idea what the Spurs plan is. And quite frankly, nobody outside of the front office types that work there have an idea. Right. Uh, we, we can all guess, but we don't know what the actual plan is. That's the way the Spurs like it. But I do find it interesting that w when you think about Wemby and the incredible season that he had, um, I hope whatever their plan was when they won the lottery has gone out the window because he is ready to win and win now. Well, he has played better than anybody expected, and he had high Greg expectations Popovich. coming in. Absolutely. So, I mean, you, you look at it, you wonder. I thought it was interesting. In Wemby's exit interview, um, he was asked if he's going to be consulted on any of the moves that get made this offseason. I mean, will I be consulted, you know, on, on the extent that I'm a, I'm a player, you know, and they're, you know, they, they know what they, they're doing, but, but the truth, the truth is, I don't know. It's, um, you know, I'm, I'm still learning, but I'm ready to help as, as much as, as needed, but of course I'm, I'm staying in my role, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think we're building something great and it's definitely something that they've done before. And the, like, there's many people I can, I can ask for, I mean, here the Spurs that I can ask for advice on this and how, you know, how will things go? I'm just curious to see. You know, I, I, he doesn't want to say anything there, but I would imagine they're going to consult with him in some form or fashion. Like, um, it's hard for Wimby too, though, if you're going to bring in free agents, because he doesn't know some of these guys and how they play other than what you see on film. So is that going to mesh with him? I mean, it's hard to say until you get him on the floor. I would imagine that fitting in with Wemby has got to be the priority. Now, any of those kids that they're looking at from France, yeah, they're going to consult Wemby on that. Sure. Right? Um, and I, I'm, not, I'm not one of those that gets all upset when I hear that they consulted, the front office consulted with a star player. I know some people really have a problem with that. I don't. Now, if the star player is making the decision, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. Wemby isn't going to make the decisions, but is his input is going to sure. be there. Yeah. I mean, would you be surprised to find out that, you know, before this move was made or that move was made, they probably talked to Timmy. Uh, they might have talked sure. to David. I mean, yeah. they, you know, that that happens. I mean, oh, we heard about it the other day. You know, Josh Allen was told long before the trade was made to Stephon Diggs that they were going to make that trade. You know, whether it's you get input, if there's an objection, you might listen to it. But ultimately, the front office is going to put together the team and make the deal that they think is best. But I do think he'll be involved in the decision-making process because it does feel like more than any other player that I can remember playing here in San Antonio, it is a group effort with Wemby, with his own personal team and the franchise and the number of people that are were Wemby types that have full-time jobs with the Spurs. He's the guy, right? I mean, he's yep. the franchise, so he's going to have to be consulted. He needs to, you know, what type of player I think is more than which guy. Like, and, and Pop has seen this, you know, what type of guy fits best with Victor Wimbanyama? And they 
that's the type of player that they're going to go after. I don't think the name matters as much as is he that type of player. And and I think the other part is he is so connected with whatever the plan is moving forward. And he said with all the losses early in the year, because the front office kept him and his personal team in the loop is the words he uses that kept him confident while they were losing a bunch of games. You know, very early on, I think they did a wonderful job just, you know, letting me know, I mean, you know, keeping me in the loop for, uh, for, for most things because they, you know, they, they treated me very well in the first, you know, even, even before I landed here really. And, um, so it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it, they just showed that they cared about me as a person first and uh, also as a player and, uh, like they that they didn't let anything you know random you know they 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 control things and they're being patient and even though it's hard to be to be patient because we want to win right now they I think you know they got things under control. Well, look, I think so. I mean, the Spurs are famous for treating players like family. Mm-hmm. I mean that so that's nothing new. That's what they do. And when you're a member of the Spurs team, you are family. Um, but look, Pop and RC and and uh, everybody over there, Brian Wright, they know that, look, this can't take forever. So they've got to be looking at, at, at players. And I'm not saying that for the fans even necessarily, even though that's important. But for Victor, I don't think Victor can go through another season like this. I think this young man needs to compete, and he wants to be on a team that is competitive, that they – have an opportunity to keep playing after the regular season's over. Well, you could tell, like, like losing the number of games that they lost this year. You know that doesn't sit well. No. But he, he maintained confidence throughout, despite all the losses, because he understands what the plan is and what this year was really about. No, no, no. But, and, you know, it's I – mean, I'm glad, to like, it didn't happen because I, I could see um, – you know, I could start to see some, like some f- from people. I don't really have any examples, but you know, some doubt, some a little bit of doubt. But I'm, for me, never even one second I doubted. So it's, and I'm glad it's the case. And um, yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I'm at any point I never thought I wasn't in the best situation. You know, I wasn't in the best place. And um, yeah, of course, I wish I, I didn't. I wish we were into the playoffs. You know, I wish I didn't lose 60 games. Of course, but um. As much as it's hard today, I know it's uh, it's for the long term, and I trust my teammates hundred percent, and I trust the the project. So it's really my confidence was never shaken at any point. You know, I love that. I, I love what he said there, and in uh, the way he says it. And I know he's kind of a laid back guy anyway, but I, th- this guy's not in for a three or four year plan. Mm. He's not. And and you can hear that. And and I just don't believe that this, you know, uh, you know, don't skip any steps stuff, whatever the hell that means, it is going to fly with him. I think he wants to win and he wants to win now. And I'm not saying they compete for a championship next year, but certainly should compete for a playoff spot. I don't think that's far fetched. If you add some players into this squad and and some some veteran players with whatever else they get with him improving like he's going to improve. There's no reason why anybody should not expect next year that this team is at least competing for a play-in tournament spot, for a playoff spot, something of that nature. And I think anything less is is going to be devastating. Well, and devastating might be the right word. Yeah. Because disappointing isn't. Yeah. It, it's such a, you know, this team down the stretch has become so much fun to watch uh-huh. that you think if it would have started differently, like, I don't know, a real point guard, um, where where could they be? Could they be getting ready for a play-in game tomorrow? Could they? And, and again, you could what if sure. everything. To, and as great as Wemby is, he still has work to do to improve his game. You know, he's got to figure out how to cut down on turnovers first and foremost. So he was asked, what does he plan on working on this offseason? There's a lot of details that... I have in mind, you know, I started, I already started talking about it with, um, with Guillaume and the coaches. It's uh, a lot of details, you know, a lot of s- small things that, you know, the opponents try to try to attack me on during the games and I have the tools to, to, to respond to it, but it's, you know, I need, I need practice. There's stuff, you know, that is hard to practice during the season. And, um, but uh, there's a lot and physically it's just, 
keeping, you know, I think we're going in the right direction. So we just keep keep it the way it is more, even more injury prevention. And uh, as usual, you know, the strength more important than the weight, especially in the, you know, the important parts like the feet, for example. Mm, stronger and, uh, feet. Basically everywhere where it hurt this season. Oh. You know, but it was sore. Wow. You know, okay. It, well, <laughs> That's okay. scary, isn't it? A couple of things that are interesting there. Strength over weight. Uh-huh. Prioritize. I, I get that. Little things. You talk about a seasoned pro at 20 years old. Mm -hmm. There was nothing specific that he mentioned other than getting stronger feet. I don't even know how you do that. <laughs> but the idea that, yeah, there's things I got to work on. I know what I got to work on. The stuff that you really can't do during the season. But nothing specific like, yeah, you know what? I really need to cut down on turnovers. I really want to get better at, I know what I need to do. I'm not telling you a damn thing. Yeah, and that, that's a big part of it. But I can you kind of see the plan for this year, even though it, it frustrated the hell out of me, and I, and I know a lot of Spurs fans. But get Wimby involved. Let him play with the NBA types, that kind of talent, and see where he is. And he said it himself. And, and we saw the improvement in him. After the All-Star break, he was a different player. So he's going to get better. And knowing what he needs to work on uh, heading into this offseason – it, I mean, that's just, that's huge. It's huge. And, and I just think this kid's going to get better. You put some talent around him. Uh, I, I just don't see this taking another two or three years. You know, the uh, season ended about 24 hours ago. Locker clean out today. As we start looking ahead to next year in the rebuild, what does Wemby consider successful next year? Now that it's more clear, of course, I don't want next season to, to stop so early, you know. I want to we want to keep going, go to the. I mean, I, I would want to win every game, of course, but go to the playoffs, and uh, just there's so many so many details and so many things, so many little things to do right away. You know, from the from the first game of the season that we're gonna we're not gonna build something great by saying we want to to win the championship or really you know go to the playoffs. It's you know set a new a new brick every day, and then we'll you know we'll build the house. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's bought into the Spurs. That, that's that's true. That's, that's close to pounding the rock, is it not? But he's he just said he said right there he wants the playoffs, playoffs. next year, and with all the not skipping steps and all the other stuff and be patient and pop we trust and all that and we do. But look, it's time. I, you you got to fast forward this kid. It, he's not going to be able to take another season like this. Fans are not going to be able to take another season like this. It's time to fast forward and put some talent around this guy, and and let's go brick by brick. Yeah, well, let's let's that, lay so, a bunch of. That, them. That's what it is. I mean, we've gone from pounding the rock to to brick by brick. It'll look good on a T-shirt. You can go make the T-shirt over at Sammy's Embroidery Club. At Sammy's Embroidery and Printing down on San Pedro. If you need T-shirts screen printed, go see Sam. Especially this time of year, Fiesta is about to get underway. If your group, your service organization needs T-shirts done, go see Sam. He will get them done for you. If you need your logo embroidered on anything, Sam will do that for you. If you need it on a cap, Sam has over 25,000 caps and more than 75 color combinations on display in his showroom right now, including the popular Richardson 112 style trucker caps. You need that logo on a nice golf shirt, a fishing shirt, a dress shirt. Sam will get you taken care of. Sam has over 700 uniform lines to choose from all kinds of industries. Nobody has better prices. Sammy has all the big name brands, and he's the only company in Texas with one day turnaround. So call 210 824 3900. 824 3900. Or better yet, go by that massive showroom on San Pedro. One mile inside Loop 410, next to Big Lots across from McDonald's, or check the website, samsembroidery.com, for Sammy's Embroidery Club. This is The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Oh Afternoons 2 to 6, KTFM, Floorsville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com.
Toro San Antonio football returns to the Alamo Dome this Saturday night as the San Antonio Brahmas play host to the Michigan Panthers. Pack the dome for a 6 p.m. kickoff. Follow the Brahmas social channels for a link to get your Brahmas Fiesta medal with your tickets. Experience the excitement. Buy your tickets now at theufl.com. Come watch Coach Wade Phillips lead the Brahmas to take on the Michigan Panthers Saturday night at 6 in the dome. Get your tickets now at theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas! Hormones can affect everything. Bad skin, bad hair, low energy, poor sleep, brain fogginess, libido, and weight gain. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health, and we take a functional approach to your hormone problems. Eating right and exercise will not be beneficial without optimal hormone function. This goes for men and women. We do state-of-the-art testing to get to the root of your hormone issues and help you get well and stay well. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health. We can help. 210-468-1891. Are your windows struggling to keep up with the game? It's time to upgrade with Maverick Windows. Stay ahead of the competition with energy-efficient windows. Call Maverick Windows at 800-972-3631. That's 800-972-3631 to get a free quote. Folks, quality is a huge deal. It's what I look for when I recommend something to my listeners. It means you can depend on it. Quality means it won't let you down. It's something you can be proud of. Well, that's the definition of a Kinetico water softener. With other water softener brands, you just never know. Maybe they work half the time or they're just plain junk. A Kinetico water softener is up to 80% more efficient than competing models and will be the last water softener you'll ever own. That's because you're buying quality and it's backed up with an outstanding 10-year warranty too. If you're ready to enjoy all the benefits that come with quality, bring home a Kinetico water softener. Call the team at Kinetico at 656-PURE or online at KineticoSA.com. That's 656-P-U-R-E or KineticoSA.com. And tell them, Dave. Ramsey sent you. The last water softener you'll ever own. Call 656 Pure Connecticut. Your home for the Dallas Cowboys is 94 1. San Antonio Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. Well, we've got some Major League Baseball happening tonight. The Houston Astros got into a groove. Took two or three from the Texas Rangers. Up next for the Astros, they welcome the Braves into Minute Maid Park, a series that starts tonight. First pitch at 7-10. The Rangers, meanwhile, open up a series with the Tigers. First pitch there set for 540. By the way, you can catch that game over on San Antonio's ESPN 1250. Sports Center is brought to you by Buyers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. Buyersbarricades.com. Joe Reinagel. That's the third time in seven seasons. The San Antonio Spurs are the NBA champions. Jason Minnis. They go back to big day as Super Bowl champions. Dallas 52, Buffalo 17. It's the Blitz on 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94-1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Reinagel. I'm Jason Minix. Glad to have you along here on a Monday afternoon. You could always be a part of the show. 210-656-ESPN, 656-3776. Tweet at Joe Reinagel 210. Tweet at me at Jason Minix, the station at SA Sports Star. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can always comment there. At the top of the uh, hour here at Sports Center. They just did some uh, preview shot of tonight's WNBA draft uh-huh. where Caitlin Clark is going to go number one overall. Sure, to unless Indiana. The craziest thing on planet Earth happens. Right. I mean, this is as much of a sure thing as who's going number one <laughs> overall as Wemby yeah. last year for the San Antonio Spurs. Did you see the Caitlin Clark video from her Saturday Night Live appearance? I did not. I heard a lot about it, though. Do yourself a favor. And go watch her on the weekend update. She was incredible. I didn't see it live Saturday night. I haven't seen Saturday Night Live in I don't know how long. (laughs) Uh, But thank goodness for things like social media where they will put that out there. Sure, yeah. Because she is just, I've not seen her in that kind of element. And she nailed it. Nice. She she was fantastic. Um, if you didn't see it, and I don't want to ruin any of it, and and like I said, it's way too long of a clip for us to play it here. But the she did the weekend update desk, and the the guy 
you know, it was like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, but I've seen all your jokes about the WNBA or women's basketball or women's sports. And then they played this clip of him ripping <laughs> women's sports. And she went after each one of them and nailed every one of those jokes. Nice. She's got a a Peyton Manning type um, quality type, uh, 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 you know, the ability to do that. Um, not every athlete can. And for her, especially at her age, to go on a show like that and be seen in that kind of forum, it was incredible. Well, that's great. That may be the best part of Saturday Night Live. And Michael Shea, and I can't remember yeah. the other guy's name, but they're, they're well, I can't remember update. Michael Shea's name, yeah. but yeah, that's exactly yeah, who it those, is. Those guys are funny. Colin and, Yost. Colin yeah, Yost. Yeah, yeah. They, and who? They'll do stuff that, you know, to, they'll do yeah. racial jokes oh, with each yeah. other. I mean, it's funny stuff. It really is funny. So, yeah, I'm going to have to watch that. That's good. If she's, go, uh, if, yeah. Go find that video. It's worth a couple minutes of your sure. time. Yeah. She nailed it. Good. And good the, for her. Think about, you know, it was two weeks ago she was playing in the, in the championship for a national game. championship. Yeah. And now she's about to. You know, there's no break, uh, you know, go number one overall. Then you head to training camp for her to work in the Saturday night live. But for those people that have asked the question, you know, what makes her so different? It's stuff like that. Yeah. Just the ability to relate with your audience, know who you are comfortable in your own skin. You know, for example, watching the masters yesterday, the poor kid, low amateur. Now he was fantastic all day until he got to the interview at Butler cabin. <laughs> And he kept, he didn't know where to look. What do you do with your hand? And he kept like, like the side eye, like looking over here without looking. And um, he was asked during a press conference a question. He didn't know how to answer. So he's, I don't know who he was looking at, but you know, I don't know. I, I mean, this kid was completely uncomfortable in that setting. That's all right. He'll get used to it. If he's that good a player, he'll get used to it. I remember Tim Duncan was horrible at interviews. He might still be. No, Tim's good now. Well, I mean, Tim's he, good now. It, well, it depends on if he wants to do the. Interview. Yeah, but Tim, man, I, I will never He's forget. Witty. Charlotte, North Carolina, man, when he got drafted, uh -huh. it's like pulling teeth. Wow. I mean, he was he was bad. Yes. I don't think he, bad man would be the right word. No, that's the right word. He yeah, was not he, a good yeah, interview. He was bad. So he was always very he, care, he was very uncomfortable. Better. Yes. With doing interviews, got a lot better, and he, he gave a lot like of short doing, answers. Though. Yes. Dude, I had to go to Salt Lake City after that for a week. Tim Duncan stories. Yeah. <laughs> the hardest <laughs> thing I ever did. I was having a great time, though. Well. But, yeah, he, mean, got, he got so much better, and he's got a great sense of humor. What people don't know about Tim, well, at this point, you probably should, or you're just under a rock. <laughs> he was the locker room clown. Yeah, yeah. His personality, his joking, all, all of it was, is incredible. And when he is doing interviews with friends, they are so much better than what he would do with us. He's a funny guy. He is funny as he hell. He is. Yeah. Funny guy. So, but he got better. So my point is this kid, if he continues on his PGA tour career, yeah. um, he'll get better. Yeah. And not everybody can be like a Tiger Woods who never really had a problem at all. I mean, he just, bam, it was immediate. But this kid was on, you know, late night talk shows at three years old. Well, so. yeah. I mean, but you, and you think about Tiger and Tiger finished dead last in the master's tournament yesterday. Of those that made the cut. Of those yes. that made the cut. Uh -huh. I mean, he made the weekend. Yeah. Helped me secure yet another beer bet victory. <laughs> Not that I needed his help, but I got the beer bet victory. I, 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 you know, Joe didn't think he would make the cut. The way Tiger played this weekend, I don't know if it would be better if he didn't make the cut. But either way, he played all four <laughs> rounds. He did. And he said it was good for him. He needed that. Mm -hmm. So one Joe Reinagle posts a video on our San Antonio Sports Star social channels. I did. Instagram, apparently TikTok. I don't know what all the, wherever. They put goes. them everywhere, I yeah. think. Yeah. Saying that it's time for Tiger Woods to retire. You are getting roasted, my friend. Roasted. Well, what do they on, know? On some of the Instagram comments. What are, what do they know? Is it time for Tiger to retire? Joe says so. 210-656-ESPN, 656-3776. RJ Ochoa comments. <laughs> Stop talking at Joe Reinagle 210. 
some of the older i take uh, that as a compliment some of the other comments worry about yourself he gets an invite he can tee it up uh somebody else said uh leave him alone he'll retire uh when he's ready <laughs> who are you uh somebody says true another comment that, that says, sounds like they agree with me somebody else says shut the hell up uh-huh um i've heard that before another comment my guy the course average was oh, uh, three over that week he's only going to improve through his recovery see that's the thing i don't know that he will well and here's the thing i don't disagree with you because it's hard to watch the tiger that i want to watch uh -huh. play like that yet yesterday i could not stop watching uh-huh i could not tiger is still must see television even though he was having an awful round. We were going to go to the Brahmas game early in tailgate. I told my wife, we'll probably leave the house about 1130, kickoffs at two. It was 12.45, one o'clock before we left because I watched all 18 holes yesterday morning what, on ESPN+. What was Plus. it that, that kept you captivated? What was it? Were you expecting something different? What, what was it? The It's Tiger. Um, it, it's it, tiger. It, it's tiger. It's it, not tiger. Well, you know what? That, it, that was not tiger yesterday. It, it really was. No, it wasn't. I, I mean, it, it, it wasn't an AI version of them. Um, well, it wasn't the tiger we're used to seeing. Well, that's it. But there were some moments where he was this close on a couple of shots, <laughs> this close. So you're hoping at the next hole, was he going to uh -huh. be able to get there? Was he going to get that one shot that makes us all of us golfers that suck like me? Every round you play, there's always one or two shots that give you hope that whatever you think is in there is still in there. For Tiger, maybe I'm watching, hoping that I see that shot. That, all right, this this tournament, yeah, yeah you were in contention on Friday. I mean, he was in contention sure, on yes. Friday. Saturday was the disaster. The body, Sunday, the body let him down. That's yeah, what happened. But it's the first golf he's played in a long time. And if I wasn't watching, I'd have missed the best moment of the weekend. When he shook hands with Vern Longquist, that was incredible. It looked like he was shaking hands with a tree. Yeah, he never photos, saw Vern. You know, look, uh, maybe maybe retire is is a too strong word. I don't uh, want him. Uh, I don't want him to retire from golf. Yeah, in that respect, he's an ambassador for the game. He's been probably the best ambassador uh, that, that the game has ever had, and people still love to see him play. So majors, come on! I just don't. If, if anybody out there. And as soon as I say this, because, you know, I didn't think he'd make the cut. But if anybody out there thinks that Tiger will ever win another major again, I got some swampland in Arizona. Nice. It's not going to happen. And and I so for me, the reason that I make this video, because I don't want to remember Tiger Woods walking off a golf course shooting 82. I don't want to. I don't want to remember Tiger like that. I want to see the fist pump and the holding up the trophy and the the amazing domination that ti that Tiger was on on the when in his prime and how he just roasted everybody. Nobody could keep up with him. That's the guy I want to remember. I don't want to see him limp off the the golf course shooting eighty two. That's why I make the video and that's why I say retire may be a strong word, but. He's not going to play every tournament. He's going to play majors if we're lucky. And, and that's it. And if he stinks up the place, I don't want to see that. So he said a career worst for a 72 hole event, finishing at 16 over. Uh huh. And he's not the same. But he's still such a draw. He's still so important to golf. It, and and here's the crazy thing is I agree with you and I disagree with you because not nobody wants to see that tiger. Nobody wants to see the great ones not be great anymore. Uh huh. And we talk about that with other athletes and other sports. Yet in an individual sport where you can't have teammates that could lift you up, you get some that man you play the game until they rip the jersey off of you, and in others you know, walk away while there's still something left in the gas tank. And you think about a player's dignity. Um, you might be embarrassed for the way they're playing because they're not playing up to expectation. Yet he still made the cut. And there are a lot of golfers that you would not say if they were, you know, on a random day, 16 over for a tournament, you wouldn't tell them to retire. 
even if they're getting up there in age. There are a lot of golfers as they get older, they start getting scores like that, but none of those golfers are Tiger Woods. He plays by a different set of standards than everybody else on that tour. Absolutely. And that I don't want to see him just be average. I, I think of Tiger Woods and I think of greatness. And I think of, 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 a, of a man that could do things that none of us mere mortals could do. And I don't want to see him be a mere mortal. I don't. I, I don't want to see that. And so that's why I say that, you know, if he if he wants to try to improve, I just don't think his body's going to let him. I think his mind is in the right place. I think if you're Tiger Woods, he thinks he can step out any golf course, any tournament, and he's going to win it. But you know what? Sometimes your mind writes checks that your body just can't cash. And I think that's where Tiger Woods is. But maybe his, his mind, you know, he played at uh, Riviera, right? And he didn't make it through two days. Mm -hmm. This tournament, he made all four rounds. Well, he made all four rounds, but he wasn't in very good shape for the last two. He finished. Uh, okay. Uh, he finished. All right. If That's he, like you finishing a 5K. It, yeah, it, you finished, but you were dead last. Well, I mean, but I finished. As long as, you know, I got the medal at the end. <laughs> yeah. You know, somebody today is celebrating right. finishing dead last uh -huh. at the Boston Marathon. <laughs> well, you know, the winner did in two hours. It took you eight, but you finished. Eight. You got the, I don't <laughs> it took know. took me three days, but I finished. <laughs> I, I mean, but, but again, though, if Tiger had the goal of, I need to get through four rounds. Can I play four rounds of competitive golf? He he did that. He played two of competitive golf. The other two were not competitive. Okay. But he finished all four rounds. Okay. He he 18 holes, 18 holes, 18 holes. Uh -huh. Yes, his game fell apart. He wasn't non-competitive yesterday. It's just the Saturday round took him out of any contention. Well, he was not going to be the, in contention but, but, anyway. But the idea, though, that he finished the tournament is, in his mind, I would think is that progress. Does that get him ready for the PGA? Well, you know, which he says he's going to play yet. Okay. If he's going to play, is he going to go to the British Open after that? I mean, I bet the U.S. Open. So. Yeah. Well, we'll see. He's going to play in all the majors. Okay. They, they have the biggest checks. Well, we'll see. I mean, if you guys want to see Tiger Woods, Tiger doesn't need any money. Are you kidding me? That dude's a bazillionaire. Yeah, he's got he, alimony payments he's too. Not, he's not paying. He's not playing for the he, money. Alimo, alimony, man. I mean, the live guys offered him a billion. If he needed the money, he could have gone there. Well, maybe he didn't want her to get all that. Uh huh. I'm right. just saying. That divorce has been over a long time. Uh, the checks are still going, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true, but that was way back. I'm saying, dude. If you want to see Tiger shoot eighty something, fine. I look. I hope I'm. I'm hope I'm wrong. I really do. about what I, about Tiger not being able to play anymore. All right. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. So you'd rather not see him play. I want to. Yes. I don't want to see in. him shoot 80 something. No. Do you? I mean, do you really want to see Tiger Woods go out and shoot 80? No, you don't. Thanks for answering for me, dad. Uh, you don't want to see it. I, I know. You I don't. don't. No, but I couldn't turn my eyes away. Well, because you know you're you're a cowboy fan. The hope in you is just always there, isn't it? Why do you always bring everything <laughs> back to the Cowboys? What what is, what is everything? Oh, uh, you, when when you know you're about to lose an argument, you just I pull the cow. You, you pull the cowboy card. How, how did I lose an uh, argument? I mean, not everything revolves around the Dallas Cowboys. How did I lose an argument? There was there was no argument to be lost. I'm just saying I don't want to see that. Yeah. There's, there's no argument to be won or lost here. It's just a matter of personal opinion. But to retire, not golf again competitively, just become an ambassador. Uh huh. I don't know that I'm ready for that either. I'm with you. That's why I'm saying I'm mixed on this. I, I and you know we were talking about Tim Duncan earlier. We all remember when we all thought, well, is could this be it for Tim? And I remember him walking off the floor taking pictures. Not sure if we were ever going to see. Yeah, uh, him in a uniform again, knowing that he could probably still play. Sure, but he wasn't going to play to the Tim Duncan standards That's anymore. That's exactly right. It, it, you know, was it time to go? Did he leave with something left in the tank? That's kind of where Tiger's at right now. Right, he could still do it, but we're going to see more of what we saw this weekend than him in the final groupings with the chance to win. I hope Tiger goes to the. They call it the Champions Tour now, not the Seniors Tour. Well, of course. We can ride a cart and play 54 holes. Or we can go to the Live Tour with those wieners and play 54 <laughs> holes over there and wear shorts. Dude. Those wieners. <laughs>
He already turned down a billion from those guys. I know. Which I admire him. I admire that. But 54 holes might be better for him. Well, the, the Champions Tour is coming. He'll be there in a year why and a half. Why don't they make an exception and let him go at 49? Because, well, I, you'll have to talk to whoever the commissioner of that is. Why? Well, it's Tiger Woods. Why, sure. Why can't the PGA make an exception, get this man a cart? <laughs> well, those other, because you don't. No, no, well, no, well, no, well, no, no. I, I mean. No, 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 no. You don't make an exception like that. Absolutely I, I, I'm, not. I'm just saying. No. No, 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 no. Hey, if you can't walk and play golf, you can't do it. You just got to go away. And he thinks he thinks the Augusta National was hilly. He's going to go play the PGA and the U.S. Open. Dude, it doesn't get any easier. Do you not hear? What, what did I hear yesterday on the broadcast? The caddy for somebody, the Masters is the toughest walk next to Pinehurst, right? Okay. So yeah, he thought the the that Augusta was hilly because like literally uh, it's one of the tougher walks on on the tour. Okay, so yeah, the and other, it, it obviously the other took one should, its toll, didn't should it? be a walk in the park. Oh, sure, it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. I hope I'm wrong. No, oh, you don't. No, I really do. You do not. When you it, never want to be wrong. Because you never are. But uh, according true. to you, I'm never. You, thank according you, to you. It's about time. According you said, to you, you, you are never wrong. Tape, right? Pledge? According to you, you are never wrong. <laughs> That's not what you said. It really is exactly <laughs> what I said. I, y'all all heard that. Minix admitted, "I'm never wrong." You're thank never you, wrong, Jason. according to you. <laughs> I hope I'm it's wrong. It's like that guy at the Dodgers game. He's not sure why his wife is mad at him, but she is. If I can see Still Tiger win again, new. I'd love it. I'd love to be wrong, and I would admit it, but I don't think I am, unfortunately. You're wrong. Nope. You're wrong. Well, we'll see. What's When's the PGA? It's coming up. It's about a month. May? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, literally, that's next month. Well, or in April. In May. I'm just trying to think. So, May is right after April. The U.S. Open is June. Yeah, which is the after British May. British Open is in July. Which is after June. The PGA in August. No. No? Remember, they did that weird thing a few years back where the PGA is now where TPC kind of was at Sawgrass in May. And then they still have June for Father's Jeez. Day weekend. So there's no major in August anymore. They moved it up. So well, that's the PGA is now the second major. All right. That's a shame. It's a shame. You literally just said it was coming up next month. Like you had it right and then you got it wrong. <laughs> Which is what you I tend got, to do. I got too much rolling around in this dome. I uh, know. How many beer bets have you now lost because of Tiger Woods? Well, two. So for you're sure. going to be wrong again. Could be. I, speaking of that, here we go. Somebody on YouTube brought this up and it's remind. Don't I win a beer bet for getting the total right for the Spurs? Yes. I bet the under. Yes. You bet the over. Yes. So you take away one of those twelve packs, baby. One of those 12 facts. Yeah, right, so so you, I only you, owe you, you a owe case. 36. A case instead of 36. Can you take away something you haven't gotten? Well, <laughs> I mean, he's just hoping eventually it comes back to even, but uh -huh. we all know better. We all know better. You know what? I, I'm Before we go to work tomorrow, you uh -huh. will have a case of beer on your driveway. <laughs> On my driveway. On your driveway. Unless your wife's home or so. You got a sales meeting in the morning, don't you? Yeah, well, you, you I, I mean, on my driveway. And you can put it in the beer fridge. Well, is your garage going to be open? I mean, you've got the code to the house. Oh. I mean, you're well, you I'll used to. I'll put them in. You want me to yeah. you take them out of the box and Absolutely. make them all nice? And you've got to organize them yeah, properly <laughs> with all the labels facing forward. I, I, don't, I don't think that was part of the bet. I, I mean. I'll, uh, I'll just slide them in the garage. You could just bring them to the office. I could do that. That way, it proved to everybody that I'm I paid off. Sure, you'll have a case because you know flight by you. I left here them on tomorrow. your driveway. I don't know why your neighbor stole the beer, <laughs> exactly. man, but I paid it off. Hal, oh, uh, you're gonna blame <laughs> Hal for that, <laughs> or the nuns. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the nuns that live across the street. The four nuns that live across the street. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. You know, I got cameras out there, so I would know, I know if you I, I know. left the See, beer. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You will have it tomorrow, my friend. I'll just said you could drop the beer off at his house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just texted. It. <laughs> Al leaves his garage door open all the time uh, now, so he? I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's weird. Al blames the wife for that. In my neighborhood, people will call you. Hey, Joe, your your garage door's been open for a couple hours. Yeah. Well, that's how it is in my house. That's why I don't know what's going on. I called Hal I, the I other guess day. that's good. Well, you, you, I mean, you know, Hal normally doesn't leave his garage door open. 
coming home the other day and his door was open, no cars there. All right. And then, you know, it was that way the other day. And, you know, it's happening more and more frequently. He immediately threw his wife under the bus. <laughs> it's her fault. She does. He, she's living. I mean, you know, it's like, not me. You know, I, I left it. Yeah, yeah. He's a smart man. Yeah. Don't, don't ever admit. Guilt. No, wasn't him. Wasn't me. Yeah, wasn't me. <laughs> I have no idea. That was the wife's fault. Uh-huh. But he says it all so subtly. Well, I left at 8.30 this morning, so you can guess who left it open. Mm. Uh huh. <laughs> Great way to blame the wife. Hal, Couch City, buddy. Mm -hmm. Why is the wife mad at you? She still <laughs> mad, or is this a new mad? We have no idea. No clue. No idea. Like that guy from the Dodgers game. <laughs> Crazy stuff. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Cowboys start voluntary workouts today without CD Lamb. No cause for alarm. We'll dive into that next here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. If it has been a while since you've been to the dentist, maybe you're looking for a new dentist, let me recommend you go see my dentist, Dr. Smith, over at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Their website, smilestructure.com. And when you go to smilestructure.com, you will find out that they can handle all your dentistry needs from general dentistry to oral surgery, orthodontics for the kiddos, Invisalign for adults. They're a general and family dental practice from cleaning and whitening to crowns, fillings, dental implants, wisdom teeth extraction. Smile Structure can handle every aspect of your dentistry needs. They even offer general anesthesia, sedation, and cosmetic dentistry. Right now, get a free exam and x-rays when you mention 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. Medicaid and all PPO insurance is accepted, and they offer a dental savings plan if you don't have dental insurance. And Dr. Smith, he's a veteran, was in the Army. Uh, they're they're veteran-owned and operated. They offer discounts to uninsured veterans. And more importantly, they do great work and make it very comfortable while you're seeing the dentist. Five San Antonio area locations. Learn more. Book your appointment online at smilestructure.com. That's smilestructure.com. It's the 2024 NFL Draft on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. We're the 24th pick. The Dallas Cowboys select. April 25th, 26th, and 27th. Join 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star for this year's NFL Draft. Live from Detroit. I love the tenacity and the aggression with which he plays. He is a mauler. Who do the Cowboys and Texans pick? Does Jerry make a splash? Who goes number one? And who's the next Mr. Irrelevant? The Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud. Uh, we don't know we're going to pass on the guy you ought to be taking, David. but still be position slip. I thought Sauce Gardner would be the first corner, but you go back to 2019, and that version of Derek Stingley is as good as anybody in this entire draft class. Find out right here on your exclusive home for the NFL Draft. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. 90 Proof Bar and Grill is the ultimate spot to catch a game and satisfy your cravings. Kitchen's open till midnight every day, serving up delicious bites to fuel your hunger, plus daily drink specials. Make every night a winning night at 90 Proof Bar and Grill, corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch. If you get arrested, get out of jail fast by calling AA Best Bail Bonds, 210-225-2121. Text BAIL to 474747 or online at mybestbailbonds.com. You don't have to call attorneys or anybody else. Don't be forced into a PR bond. If the jail offers you one, make sure you understand the conditions before accepting it. AA Best Bail Bonds, nobody beats their price. They have payment plans. Call 210-225-2121 or mybestbailbonds.com. License number 149. The IRS finally caught up with Louie. I hadn't paid my taxes in eight years. I owed the IRS a lot of money. Louie was in deep trouble. We're going to take your house, put a lien on your bank account, uh, garnish your pay. They don't care. They're going to take your paycheck. Louie found out about Optima Tax Relief, the leading tax resolution firm. A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau, they've resolved over $1 billion for their clients. Optima Tax, they helped me. They calmed me down. They made me feel comfortable, and I trust them. Louie has a lot to be thankful for. I don't owe the IRS anymore and i was able to live a comfortable life <laughs> a lot better life it was because of optimal tax for tax help you can trust call optima now for a free consultation take it from louie if you are the rs don't go it alone give optimal tax a call they can help you call 800-970-3199 that's 800-970-3199 800-970-3199 
Optima Tax Relief. Optima Tax Relief. Testimonial from an actual client. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Hey, it's Rob Thompson here for Prize Picks. It's America's number one sports fantasy act. Three million players. Yes, I'm a member. You should be too. Download it now and remember the code Alamo, and you can get a deposit match of up to $100. Basketball is balling, baby. Football is coming. Baseball is swinging. It is time to go to Prize Picks because you put your fantasy knowledge into action. You know more. You know you're less. You know who's better or not. You know what's going on you're a fantasy player put that knowledge to work i have along with so many others and right now remember the code alamo and you can get a hundred dollar deposit match right now go download prize picks we love watching connor mcdavid jude bellingham lebron james they are playing go more or less it's so easy to do and now's the time to go you know when it's more you know when it's less and when you pair them together you can win big big bucks up to a hundred times your money more less prize picks alamo go there this is andrew monaco and you're listening to the home of the aggies 94 1 san antonio sports star you know we're also home of the cowboys <laughs> this is the blitz here on 94 1 at san antonio sports star He's Joe Reinagle. He loves the Cowboys. I do tell? love the Cowboys. I'm Jason Menix. And, man, I I know we were, we're, we're going to talk uh, Cowboys. And my Instagram page is still open because I was reading those comments <laughs> yes. that you were getting for uh, uh-huh. hammering Tiger Woods. My hammering Tiger Woods. And I see this photo is right underneath yours. Man, Troy Aikman having lunch with Roger Staubach. Wow. Troy Aikman posts lunch with my favorite Cowboys QB. Man, the good old days, huh? Dude, you are Roger lying. and Troy. The only two to win Super Bowls for the Cowboys. The good old days. Yeah. One of the uh, first comments. Uh, there are 659 comments. And if you're watching on our YouTube, you, you could see this. I'll try to show it to the camera so you, you guys can verify that, you know, it's not just Ryan Eagle that that loves Dak Prescott. So read, read down here. Of all the comments they show me, will it focus in on that? I don't know that it will. What uh, is it? Uh, it says no Dak. Yeah. Uh, why Why does it? Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's Troy Aikman and Roger Staubach. Why does it? Who says anything about Dak Prescott? Well, there's no Tony Romo either. Well, they're, they're, where's Danny White? You know, what about Babe Who was a better quarterback what than about Dak Jason Prescott Gary? And, and because Tony Romo? Troy, Jason, you, Gary, Dak. and Babe Laufenberg hang out all the time. Uh-huh. Right? Um, Maybe Troy just wanted a nice, quiet lunch with his hero. I, well, I mean, it's possible. They're at some place called Cafe Pacific. Wow. And it looks like a swanky lunch spot. Yeah. You know. Well, they're cloth, two swanky quarterbacks. Cloth uh, dining tables are up against a window that has curtains. Oh, How many nice. people are walking by Dallas not realizing there's a legend wow, having lunch exactly. on the other side? And, and, and based on this photo, they had lovely iced tea at lunch, and Troy bought. Oh, I mean, because the uh, check is kind of in front of him looking like he picked it up. They, you know, you realize Roger could probably buy Troy three or four times over. Uh-huh. That guy has made so much money in the uh, real estate business. It's not even funny, but it does look like Troy picked up the check. Good based, for Troy. Based on that, on that photo. Good for Troy. That's a great, uh, who sent that out? But Troy. Troy did. Troy posted it nice. on his Instagram. Lunch with my favorite Cowboys QB. Well, somebody. Himself, uh, of course, is who he's referring to. Well, somebody had to have uh, taken that picture. That would have been a thrill. I'm sure the waiter. Yeah. Yeah. That would, man. And, and you know, there's somebody at the next table that's just uh, having lunch. Yeah. Although, you know, it's one of those lunch spots where everybody's wearing their sport coat, except for Roger. Roger's not wearing a sport. Roger coat. can do whatever he wants. He can do whatever he wants. Well, I mean, it could could be a bunch of people like the guy we met the other day that didn't know who Roger Staubach was. It's possible. Wow. Now I don't know if Dak went to uh, <laughs> voluntary workouts today, but maybe Dak took the photo. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it is entirely possible. Yeah. Um, maybe it was Jason Garrett that took the photo. Could be. Maybe it was Babe Laufenberg that took sure. the photo. Why not? Who, who knows? Quincy Carter. I doubt it. <laughs> Never seen Quincy and Troy take a photo together. Oh, my goodness. At least not since Quincy quit playing. Yeah. <laughs> Cowboys do have their voluntary workouts today. I I, I do find it interesting. I, I have no idea if Dak was there or not. I, I haven't seen that either. I know Micah was not. CD's not. Um, so I, I'm not sure if Dak was there 
either. And that looks the first one of the off season. This is kind of a, eh. Yeah, you know, the big st- big bets don't have to be there. Well, and and, and really today's uh, meetings, yeah, light workouts, and you not start much. a little more tomorrow, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, but if you're CD Lamb, and I know the headlines, just like the you know, I'm sure the Minneapolis St. Paul Sports Station, they oh Justin Jefferson no show today because he's trying to get a new deal. Yeah, uh, guys trying to get new deals don't show up for voluntary workouts. He's not required to be there. Do you show up? For work for a voluntary assignment. I don't think he would have showed up anyway, even without a contract problem. Yeah. I mean, seriously, it's kind of it's like I'm they're still like off in the Bahamas or somewhere. Well, I don't know. you don't know. I mean, they could be yeah, on vacation, but could be probably get more work done on your own. If you have new coaches, <clears throat> a lot of new teammates, you, you see around the league. Those guys tend to show up a little bit more, although they all seem to get together in in groups and on yeah. their own anyway. So, you know, the NFLPA requires certain things. And so the guys will do these workouts on their own. You know, a lot of times in cool destinations like Miami or the Bahamas or Dax Backyard. Yeah. Um, uh, they can't do Dax Backyard. They'll wake the baby. Well, see, maybe and that's maybe that's why Dak was at SMU the that's other it. day at their indoor facility. Mama's already laid down the law. That, that nonsense is not going to happen. You can't here. have no, your no, friends no, no, over no. during nap time. Uh-uh. You wake the baby. Yeah. yeah. It's a good point. Uh, yeah. It's a good point. I hadn't thought about they that. They got to go somewhere else. They do. So, look, they'll all get together. I think more of them will after the draft, after the little rookie uh, mini camp that they have. And then there's another one that's voluntary, but a lot more people show up because of what you said. A lot more teammates. And I'm sure Micah wants to get a little work in with uh, Zim. I would imagine that they're, uh, yeah. Although Micah was a no show today, according to reports. He was. You always hear about the guys that didn't show up. He was in San Antonio that, on Friday. That doesn't mean cool. you could assume that if you didn't get told they weren't there, that they were there. <laughs> right. Right. So maybe Dak was there. Maybe he was. Could have been. And again, if it gets him out of changing diapers, honey, I got to go to yeah. work. It's voluntary. I'm a team leader. That's it. I'm the quarterback. You got you diaper duty. Uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The uh, Spurs season is officially in the books. Playoffs get underway. Well, the play-in games get underway tomorrow. We'll talk about that coming up. And I tell you, if you want to add excitement to watching the play-in and playoff games that are upcoming, make sure you download the Underdog Fantasy app, a fan favorite way to play fantasy sports. And I love playing the Pick'em game at underdogfantasy.com, where you play uh, between two and five players to build your Pick'em entry. And all you have to do is put your knowledge to the test and select whether you think a player's stats if he's going to be higher or lower. And if your picks hit, you can win up to 100 times your money. Endless projections to choose from. You create your own experience. It's fantasy, but it is legal in Texas, and it's a fun way to watch those games. Download the Underdog Fantasy app or get signed up at underdogfantasy.com. Use my promo code STAR when you do, and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, they'll give you a mystery special pick to use on your first pick of entry. Must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Again, sign up using my promo code STAR at underdogfantasy.com. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Thursday on the Morning Huddle, I got Caitlin Fever. The WNBA draft came and went with a fever carry on, and the play-in begins. It's not playoffs. We're playing in, and we're getting ready. Plus, the NFL draft starts next Thursday. What will the Dallas Cowboys do? Because it's the draft, which means they actually have to do something. We have the answers. The Morning Huddle starts at 6. It's the Morning Huddle with Rob and RJ. Morning 6 to 10 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. What's the room again? Uh, 1240, down at the end. Ooh, what's that? Sammy, don't touch that. That's someone's old food. Here we are. Do you have the key? You have both of ours. Oh, right. Not working. Rub it. Come on. Try flipping it over. Seriously. Why can't we go inside? I'm tired. Give me yours. You have mine. All right. What? Please, if you Dad, could just... Why aren't you opening the door? Need... Can everyone just shut the... Don't go there. Go on a real vacation. Go RVing. Learn more at GoRVing.com. Are you a victim of the Tom Shirt Trap and think there's no way out? 
I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit, 800-881-4242. That's 800-881-4242. So you just used bug spray in your home. Now what? Well, between the waiting and waiting for things to dry up and keeping your family away from the mess, it hits you. You could have used Zevo. Unlike other bug sprays that stick around, Zevo goes from kill to clean in seconds. Plus, it's safe for use around people and pets when used as directed. Zevo, people friendly, bug deadly. eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusion supply. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. Over the past decade, the Roof Hub has proven to be the best place to watch games with those three massive 170-inch screens and TVs all around. All the games, all the UFC fights, and when you show up at the Roof Hub, show up hungry. The food is fantastic. Open daily at 11, great for lunch, great for dinner, great for late at night, and certainly the best place to watch a game. The Roof Pub is next to the Angry Elephant and in the same plaza as the Big Blind there at 281 in Redland Road. We'll see you at the Roof. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a lawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyer for us.com. This is Andrew Monaco and the Aggies play here. 94-1 San Antonio Sports Star. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star. He is Joe Reinagle. I'm Jason Minix. Glad to have you along on this Monday afternoon. Absolutely. And uh, for most of you, your Monday, at least the hard part of it, is in the books. If you're already on your drive home, congratulations. Yes. We will certainly join you on the uh, highways here in about 20 minutes. Won't be long. Clear a path. Clear a path. <laughs> Clear a path. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I know there's a lot of Yankee fans that listen to this show. Really? A lot of wannabe Yankee uh -huh. fans anyway. But even if you're just a baseball fan, the news today that uh, John Sterling just announces his retirement yeah. is surprising. It, it, I know we're all getting older. Saying goodbye to Vern Lundquist yesterday at the Masters the tributes to Vern Lundquist were incredible. John Sterling, 85 years old. He's been the voice of the Yankees since 1989. Isn't that incredible? You think about some of those World Series runs and the, the various calls that he has. And, you know, what, what I always found interesting when people describe John Sterling as a broadcaster. And he's right up there with the Vince Goalies the Milo Hamiltons, guys like that. Jack um, Buck. But uh, um, 
with with fame and, and longevity and Jack Buck certainly right yes. right up there some some of the greats you know uh, Harry Carey but and John Sterling was never one of those polished baseball play by play guys yeah right he's yeah just like like he's got the gig but you know there are guys that are just so damn good at it oh but, yeah but John Sterling and he's good at it don't get me wrong with what I'm saying but just the polishness of how he would do his calls and you know, uh, some of the odd, like he was hit in the head by a foul ball not long ago. <laughs> I remember and, that. And, and kept going. Yeah. But like I lived in New York from 91 to 93. And it'd be amazing to me as I was starting my dream of becoming a broadcaster and doing play by play. You get into a taxi in New York in the summertime and the Yankee game is on. Like everybody listened to Yankees baseball and, and the radio play-by-play. -play. And you think about sports talk radio in New York. So seeing today, I mean, the idea that we're, the, the baseball season barely feels like it just got started. And I know it cut back on the travel schedule, was still doing home games, but retiring effective immediately um, is concerning. Like, man, I feel like I got one more year. Yeah, yeah, well, no, I, I don't. He, he claims there's nothing health-wise wrong with him, right? So I, I wonder if it's a, a wife, maybe, who's got some health issues, um, family well, member of some sort. I don't know. I, I thought that there were some health reasons that were going into this, or maybe that was some speculation that I saw uh, early on. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it's just another one of those voices of your childhood yeah. that are gone. And, you know, Vern Lundquist yesterday, especially if, if you're of a certain age, right? Like it killed us the other day. And I say that during, uh, where were we at the golf club of Texas? Yeah. And yep. a guy asks us, who's the, the one interview, uh, Roger Staubach. And the guy had no idea know. who Roger Staubach yeah. was. None. That's crazy. I, and obviously not a cowboy fan because it doesn't matter. I don't care how you're well, a human being point. with a pulse, right? <laughs> you don't, you, you know, like I wasn't a Bulls fan, but Michael Jordan still oh, makes sure. me nervous. Well, Roger Staubach makes me nervous. All the the older players of any team that were stars in their own right. I mean, you remember them. Yeah, but you know, this guy wasn't very bright anyway. No, uh, because he, he <laughs> he's a Florida guy, and he couldn't name uh -huh. anybody on the undefeated Dolphins team. Well, but but again, though, and, and so when I say of a certain age, you even if you're not a Yankee fan, you recognize a John Sterling call when you hear it. You don't have either, to hear the, the name. Guys, yeah, the yeah, yeah, Yankees yeah. win. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> it, it's it's just nuts. No, it's sad. I, and, and it is sad to see them. Like Vern Lundquist yesterday was, I mean, that guy's voice was so unique. And the way he would tell stories and and call things. And and, and the Masters synonymous with Vern Lundquist. Oh. I mean, he was doing that forever. 40 years. Gosh. And, and just, man. So it will be different. And it's even to uh, even a, a more recent, like Jim Nance leaving the, the NCAA tournament. The, yeah. The, and so that, I mean, it's just. And it was weird because he was still there. Yeah. He just wasn't working. <laughs> exactly. Like, dude, you, you took these days off so you get to be home more, yet you're at all these games. Hey, well. Just not getting paid. He's. Uh, Doing the party circuit. Maybe. Well, I mean, he, he might be. Um, it's it's very possible. But you think about Vern Lundquist, and I'm of the age that when Brad Sham and Vern Lundquist were calling Cowboy oh, games, wow, yeah, was there a better broadcast duo in radio? And I, I I'm too much of a homer to say anybody will ever be better. Right. But listening to Brad Cham even today and the fact that that I consider Brad Cham a friend now is still is kind of weird to me. And as much as I like Babe Laufenberg, it's not even close to what he and Vern Lundquist uh were, were doing in the booth. Well um, even 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 uh Ian Dale Hansen yeah were good I thought yeah together. Uh Brad Sham and Hansen they they were good. Um yeah, nothing against Babe Laufenberg. He's he's good. And, and, Babe, and, and Babe I is like good. him. He's a great but, guy. But the legends sure. of, of broadcasting. And and Babe is very good. I think Brad and Babe make a great team. Yes, they do. But you think about, and if you're old enough to remember, Vern Lundquist and Brad Cham. Yeah. And Brad Cham <laughs> tweeted a video yesterday of Vern Lundquist when he was working 
for Channel 8 doing a report on when Dwayne Thomas got traded. That's crazy. And I, I guess back in the day before Dale Hansen was Dale Hansen doing it, it was Vern Lundquist. And so he does the report and then gives his opinion on why it was time to go and just all this opinionated that uh, stuff that you generally don't see from a yeah. local TV sportscaster. Mm -hmm. But that was Vern Lundquist back in the day. And, you know, I'm watching that and going by what Brad Sham had tweeted out, never a script, never a note during his broadcast. He just told you like it was. And it just reminded me of like Dan Cook uh -huh. back in the day. Yeah. Now, Dan would put, you know, when I worked at Channel 5, and obviously you replaced Dan Cook at, at Channel 5, if if that's an accurate rate. You no. followed him. Yeah, nobody follow. replaced I, him. Nobody replaced him. Um, you know, Dan would would write the scripts on his typewriter yeah. to, to a degree, <laughs> but he would never read the prompter. He never looked at the prompter. Well, except when he'd do Wimbledon highlights, and then that was a comedy show. Wow. <laughs> That was always a lot of fun watching Dan do that. And and I can't do it either. Well, the names. Uh, yeah, the names were incredible. So, and Dan's a big tennis, he was a big tennis player too. He he loved to play tennis. Um, but yeah, Vern Lundquist, in, in case you don't know, and Senator Toss from Seguin. Yeah. Uh, you know, went to uh, TLU. Went TLU. So, still does an event every year he sure at does. TLU. He sure does. And, and um, he's just a great guy. Great guy. So that's going to be a big loss. But you know what? I mean, we all get to that age that you just you can't do it anymore. Well, well you, you can't. And, you know, I, I always thought it was going to be weird when he stopped doing SEC football. Yeah. And there are so many broadcasts now of games. You know, you go back in the day where, you know, Keith Jackson, you knew, whoa, oh, Nelly, yeah. we're, we're watching yeah. a game on ABC. You know, you had, you know, the John Madden, Pat Summerall, you know, those. Those were always the biggest games. That those were the only options that you have. I don't know that people have that same connection with broadcasters of today. No, they don't. And you just mentioned Summerall and Madden. That may be the best TV pair of all time. I mean, I'm not kidding. Those two guys yeah. were just fantastic. Because Summerall was really the first to let Madden have this have the show. He would set him up. Although Summerall was fantastic play by play, mm -hmm. but he would set Madden up and Madden would do his thing. And to me, they, they may be the best of all time. When you look at, at the way it's done it just, and because it's television versus radio and Summerall gets that the, yeah. the difference between TV play by play and radio play by play is on television. You have the, the picture sure. that can tell the word. So if Madden is still drawn uh, or, you know, some guy sweat stains on the backside and the play is going on, that's fine. Uh -huh. You can't do that on radio you can't. Um, because you've got to set up and, and, and here you go. Uh, but you're right. Those two, I mean, you talk about the soundtrack of your youth. Oh, man. You, you know, yeah. your college football games with, with Keith Jackson or, you know, oh. from, from a baseball standpoint, you know, as an Astros fan, I'm listening to, you know, to Milo Hamilton. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean. Spurs games with Terry Stembridge oh, back in the day. Oh gosh, I mean, that's going you, way back. All that, and you know, give Jay Howard. I mean, yeah. you know, for for Jay so Howard many years. Too, yes. Well, and hell, Bill shoning has been the guy for the Spurs for twenty years now. Oh, more than more than that. I, I thought I thought he just posted some like twenty three or twenty four hey, years. You talk for, about somebody that is excellent. Yeah, I mean, the guy is fantastic. He, well, he's great for, for Bill Shoning. And and you go back to, you know, Jay Howard to do games alone. Oh yeah, the skill that it takes mm -hmm. to pull that off is incredible. I don't know how many one man radio crews are still left in 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 the NBA or or any sport for that matter. But that is a a true work of art when you get a guy that can broadcast a game by himself. I think basketball is that one sport where you can do it. E little easier than you can say football in baseball you can't i no. mean it's just too slow moving so but and and not taking away anything from those guys but it's i think that's the one sport because it's so quick and, and fast that i think it's a little bit more conducive to a one-man show it, it is and i hockey might be up yeah, there yeah. but at the same time you know with fast moving sports as a play-by-play -play guy you you want somebody 
to start saying something just so you can get a drink of water <laughs> or find something in yeah, your no notes. Kidding, right? I mean, that's one of the other challenges uh -huh. is everything is going on and you still have to you're keeping your scorebook you've got different stats or you might have a stat guy but yeah. you're still as a broadcaster writing notes as things happen not that other people aren't going to know to write down for you it's not as easy as you might think to to do that and so these all these guys you talk about and you do high school football and i mean it's just it's an art form i mean it really is to do it well and to be entertaining uh, and, uh, and to not miss anything. So I, I used to say, and, and I'm in the process of putting together the schedule for this year's high school football <laughs> season, and it will be year 27 for me. Doing wow. It. I used to do this a lot when people would say, Oh, anybody could do that or whatever. I'm like, come up to the booth and hang out for a yeah. few minutes. Uh -huh. You know, about two drives in, like I, 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 I yeah. I'm lost, Yeah, you know, because that's the hard, you don't get a play off. Uh -uh. It's, and it's a football is a faster moving game when you're broadcasting it. than you realize. It's not as easy as people think. It's really not, but uh, it's it's a lot of fun, that's for sure. And being around the games and talking about it, and and even doing what we do here is is just uh, you know it's it's an honor and so it's well, a blast. Well, well, we're we're doing man. We're we're in the toy department. Oh man, I mean, it's our, great. Our, our job is everybody else's uh, hobby. Yeah, yeah, that's what I told you. All right, just, yeah, yeah. But the art, uh, John Sterling, just seeing that come across yeah, that's too is bad. just that's too bad. You know, and I'm not even a Yankee fan. But you're like, huh. And I realize he is 85 years old. And apparently one of the guys that are going to replace him is like 24. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we'll have that job for about 50 years. Well, no guarantees plus. of that, according to this article. Really? You know, there's a couple of people that are that are filling in and combined. They're like 37 years younger than John Sterling. Well, the point is you get a job like that. You don't leave. No. I mean, you're there. Yes. It, it, Bill Shoning's a perfect example. Yeah, you, know, you get a job like that where well, you're the voice of a, a professional team, you stay. It, it, you know, there's 30 yeah, of those jobs. Exactly In right. the NFL, there's 32. Exactly I mean, right. You know, there's not very many people yeah. that could do it. You don't want to give you it You look up. at a guy like Kevin Harlan, he works for everybody. He does. I, I mean, like he doesn't need to work that many events a year. No. But, you know, like Joel Myers, he's another yeah. guy, man. He's <laughs> <laughs> Joel Myers, wow. Yeah. Some, some, let somebody else get a gig, man. Come on. No, Joe Myers, I tell you, he was doing Spurs games. Yeah. You know, for a portion of when, when I was there doing those. And so um, he's he's quite the character, just to say, to keep it that way. <laughs> he's a hell of a character, that guy, man. Yes, he is. Woo. Yes, he is. Extra innings with Pledge coming up Speaking next. Speaking of here characters. On 94 1, San Antonio Sports Star. If you're like Joe Reinagle and you flush your wipes and you end up needing to call a plumber, make sure you call Quarter Moon Plumbing, Heating, and AC at 210-651-5899. At Quarter Moon, they are experts at worst-case scenarios, like when you've got a